Hello? Hello? <laughs> Welcome, Mega Man fans, to Hello. New Welcome. Moon 2024 Cycle 3. Today, we are joined by our solo soul caster, Soul X Cross. Hello, Soul X Cross. What's up, everybody? I'm around. Let's get this party started. All right, uh, with that, let's go into setups and make sure we have the action going immediately. Oh, um, before we start real quick, yeah, so Cycle 3, this is Cycle 3, which means it's right before Blood Moon, and that means it's going to be standard format. And remember, all standard format setups are submitted to Freaky Friday. So yes, if you were in the cycle, your setups are going to be in the index forever. Q evil laugh here. Okay, with that, let's go. So this is setups for and my sax versus Cha. All right, let's take a look at these setups. Today we have a Falzar versus Gregor matchup, the classic, of course. But we're going to start diving into Cha's folder really briefly. First of all, awesome that you were able to get the you horror <laughs> in there. That's a really cool acronym that you're able to spell out here. But this cust is actually quite powerful if we take a quick look. It does have a custom, which is always good, the custom one at least. And it rocks the Tango and Rush Navi Cust here. So it's going to be a lot of HP in terms of the barrier 100 that Tango gives you. And of course, the extra 300 HP we recovers. And of course, the HP plus 500. So this is a really solid Cust. Tango plus Undershirt is really strong together because it not only gives you that heal, it gives you the barrier, but now it reactivates Undershirt too. So it's actually just very, very valuable to have. And of course, Rush punishes one of your opponent's many defensive tools and options that they can probably try to use against you. However, now looking over at MI Sax's build, there doesn't appear. Oh, okay, no, there, okay. There's one less anti-damage, but because of that, we have anti-sword and anti-recovery, which is pretty interesting. But there are still three invisible, so that rush is going to have to be played around by in my sex. Taking a closer look back over at Cha's folder, though, it's a pretty interesting build overall. Teching in Risky Honey 2 with uninstall in R code alongside that bubble star. So there's definitely multiple ways to secure that uninstall. The Doll Thunder 3 at 1 is a little interesting because it's not tagged and the bubble star isn't regged either so it's going to be really difficult to get those two chips at the same time consistently to get the double damage but i think this should be okay uh, you have the busters from the charge shots rather from gregor's natural crosses anyway so it's going to be a ton of damage in that way so child's pretty much covered in that sense now Oh, well, wait, <laughs> I didn't even realize. And my sex also has like an acronym here, basically saying me knuckle. <laughs> that's it's and it's and my sax is knuckle. That, that's what it's saying. It's me knuckle, my knuckle. <laughs> so and my sax just coming through the computer stream to punch you. I guess that's I guess that's what's happening here. But of course, the usual we do have the encode splashed in with a little bit of variance. So, well, we have the barrier 200 here tagged with the area grab just so we can see it earlier. It's quite, quite a good synergy choice here. And I actually kind of like that a lot because you're you're always going to need an area grab earlier on anyway. And just seeing an extra barrier 200 to protect dust is always nice. That being said, let's go ahead and hop into the match. I'm sure we can see how it plays out. Okay, we're in. All right, starting things off, we do have that wrecked machine gun alongside drawing that uninstall really early. It's very, very, very powerful system right here and a decent amount of area grabs too. So we can actually put a lot of pressure on Cha early on and uninstall those important programs like super armor and Wait, I guess it's just super armor here. So it's actually not too terrible, but loss of super armor is always detrimental.
Oh my gosh, I accidentally muted my mic. I'm going crazy right now. All right, now we're starting off the barrier 200. Air grab coming down from Chan. Not too bad. This is going to make it a little more difficult to go into that back row, right? Because the poison panels are there. Okay, Rush will be taken away. So what Rush basically does for those who are just tuning in or are new to the stream, it actually paralyzes you for trying to use a defensive option like Invisible. So by having a barrier and using Invisible, you can safely get rid of Rush, but you still end up losing that battleship, which is pretty tough. But I'm sure it's okay. I definitely agree with putting those to the back of the folder. We do still have this early uninstall. Okay, all right, I see. Wanting to wait for the Erase Man to try and confirm the uninstall is usually safer. The only thing that this really loses to would be a barrier. Exactly, so I definitely think bringing in this Wind Rack afterwards was a great idea. Could have also gone for Tengu there, but Probably. Oh, okay, nice. This will basically confirm. Oh, shot the rock cube instead. But no. Oh, 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 just barely. Oh my gosh. And my sacks. That was so greedy. That was so greedy. Wow. I'm really surprised. <laughs> but that worked out. Hey, not bad. Not bad. This is actually pretty interesting too because we have this early Meteor Knuckles but not a ton of area or ways to get some real significant value out of it. But I do like the idea of going for Tengu with the B left and then going for a Geddon. This would mean it's going to be very difficult for Cha to be able to move for a little while which means he can get some free damage in terms of those Wind Racks but I kind of like the idea of bringing Anti-Sword because going for this without it, okay, so it's not too bad. Child doesn't seem to be playing any sword chips in the folder either. Oh, couldn't get it, but we'll get rid of this life or Oh, that's still really bad too, because you already have Tengu. Ah, oh, this is not working out for and my sacks here. But you could get the get in before the turn ends. No, I didn't even get it. Oh, that is so rough. Oh, that is so rough. So miss that was a really, really big tempo loss for in my sacks here because now you didn't get to get in to make holes to trap your opponent in the front row like you wanted. You lost out on Element Man SP. It's just kind of cascading. <laughs> but this isn't over for a long shot. You can still bring it back too. There are still some really powerful chips in the folder, like that Meteor Knuckle, like that Neo Variable. So I'm sure we can pull something out from the back. Okay, anti Navi will trigger here. Gonna make some grass panels. Okay, the grass panels are really good here because this charge tackle will do times two. So the charge tackle does nothing basically, right? So <laughs> we can just get and destroy those grass panels. And <laughs> Oh, the anti-recovery! Oh, that's huge! Okay, so anti-recovery, basically, as it sounds, it negates the recovery from a Recover 300, right? And then turns it into damage instead. How interesting. I think that was roll three that was... Oh, it was roll three! Wow! It negated roll three! Wow! That was basically a second copy of Anti Navi, which is really favorable for Anti Sacks. Not so much anymore now that we have. Okay, that was a really unfortunate. And some lazy knuckles. <laughs> Not deleting all the panels. Wow, that's unfortunate. There's Tango. 
That's a huge recovery buff. Back to 600, looking very confident and healthy. I like the idea of Anti-Sword because now we can safely go for some chip charges in this next turn. I would take all the all the area grabs and Murmasa in the back because you, you know you're going to take some damage. Right. It is it's definitely coming. But would you have time though, right? Would you have time to chip charge these and go for a Murmasa in a normal case turn? No, nah, probably not. So maybe you take like one or two, set up a back row object. It's not bad either. You're also counting on your opponent not having area grab of their own. But I guess there's judgment for that. Oh, but now you're, oh, this is not good. There's no slash cross here though. So it's not like Cha can get rid of Tangu anyway. Oh, Rush, nice, 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 nice. It's only gonna be two hits from the Tango Breath though. Nice, nice. Right, nicely done. That Gundelso actually kind of forced Cha out of that front row. It's either you stay here, defend your area, and take 480, or you can retreat. And retreating is the best option for Cha. This only has 560 life. That's, that's definitely not where you want to be taking all the damage from a Gundelso. There goes the fanfare, just immediately eviscerated, unfortunately. Oh, the big hook it does connect, but not for that much damage. I would definitely babysit that holy panel, not lock myself off from it. Oh, perfectly timed defense. That was almost 500 damage. Wow. Okay, child, nice defense, nice defense. I see you. I see you. Okay, nice. You can get some nice times damage here or the double damage for the charge shots on Aqua Cross. Hitting that fire body on ice would also freeze it, which is gonna happen. Don't don't press anything, let it time out because the race man SP always aims center when you're standing in the center panel. Got the freeze, confirmed the second charge shot, not bad. Only 170 left. No options left. It seems like this has got to be it. Making a stand here with Aquaman Cross is just really tough because now Cha has the option of going into the Elect Cross with no repercussions for it. But they're opting not to go in that cross here. Sudden Moon! No! Oh, that's it! No, that's got to be it! Oh, no survival the under, sir! Oh, but you're trapped, though! There's no way! There's no way! Oh, okay! Wow! Wow! Okay, Sun Moon pop off! Let's go! So those who don't know, Sun Moon is a reference to Battle Network 4, when which you can get the Giga Chip Sun, or um, it's a Red Sun Giga Chip or the Blue Moon Giga Chip, right? But they put it back in 6 in the form of a program advance. In order to use it, you have to have Uninstall R, Meteors R, and of course, you have to have... Where it is it? Attack plus 30, there it is. So when you combine all three of those chips, it creates that program advance. It's actually quite powerful. It's not the one you get to see often either. All right, starting off right away. Oh, this is a confirmed decross, but it's a traded decross here, not bad, not bad. Element Elect will go ahead and decross the spout here. Oh no, wait! This isn't gonna be a dual decross because you lost out on on spout cross here. So you don't have a way to threaten the fire body with that aqua charge shot, so that's gonna be really tough. Alright, good trades of busters here. Thank you, Cross. Okay, not bad. You have to have a way to move over these holes. It won't stop the damage from the poison panels, though. 
I think I like the idea of getting here, especially if your opponent wants to camp forward to defend the rest of their area. So you should get some very easy charge shot, uh, charge shot conversions here. I'll be coming out to steal a Mega or a Giga Chip, most likely a Mega Chip from Cha. Oh, the area grab is really good here. It's not going to allow and my stacks to advance forward. Oh, but there is the panel grab. Nice. Now we can just go forward and do all the damage with our charge shot. Wind rack, wind rack, wind rack. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Not a favorable position for Cha. So what can we do? As a Gregor player, you're probably going to want to get rid of this barrier. Hopefully you draw one of your two wind racks or one of your wind ships in general. And then on top of that, you're going to want to deal with either getting your panels back through Sanctuary Z, which Cha does have, or you can just wait for timeout. That, that also works. That's fine. There's the wind rack. Oh. No, Erase Man will whiff here, not in the proper positioning. Another panel grab. Punish your opponent. Threaten them out of that roll. Nice. Good patience. Nice. I think I would have tried to do the panel grab in the center because that way it's also good for Tengu. If yeah, they try to I think center that. was way better here. I definitely agree. But also, it forces your opponent into a mindset of trapping themselves. Went to yeah. avoid just star shots too. Like, oh yeah, it definitely would have been way better to be in center there. Especially since your opponent can't move onto that panel either. They just yeah. simply can't step forward. So it would have been guaranteed. Yeah, definitely, definitely better there. But Sean does still have options, which is why we see MI Sex queuing up the second Geddon, right? Anticipating Sanctuary to come into play, and they want to have an immediate answer for that because. Sanctuary is a really powerful battleship, right? It has damage from all sources of damage from your opponent, so you want no, to be able well, to get rid of that unit. Actually, oh, no. it's all actually. direct damage. Yeah. <laughs> so true, so true. So Gundasol goes through, which is why our Colonel First Gundasol is so strong, too. Yes. Ooh, oh, ow. Oh, charges. That was, oh, this is oh. Uh, oh, it's not anti- Oh. It's not it. Okay, so we got baited. That's not an anti-damage. Maybe okay, that one is. is. Yeah, that one has to be. <laughs> but it's a little too late. But at least we get to get uh, rid of Rush here, which is still pretty preferable for Cha. And we get out to grab revenge just by the end, too. Very nice, very nice. But man, just the wrong sequencing of chips here just Tang really punishes Cha. Tangle just rolling out and just going... <laughs> giving you the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tango is too much, yo. It's it's really strong, man. But in this kind of position, it's a little rough, though, because you can't move. You're still at 510, but you did see your opponent's second get in, right? And you know that for a fact now. So we might most definitely see Cha using Sanctuary in this upcoming turn, especially since the HP is so low. Well, the thing about Tango, too, is because Cha is uninstalled, that's scary. Um, at least the Tango is just activated, but Cha could potentially get deleted in a combo without Tango ever activating like that. Yes, because of all the flinching from lack of mm -hmm. super armor there, right? So you could just get yeah. combo heaven to, <laughs> to the goal. Uh, it's just too too much, right? But oh, well, I would just take the Knuckles and the gold Gun to Soul here because you have the Beast lock up for the Gun to Soul, so oh. Maybe just wanting to save oh. all the <laughs> The Risky Honey not only blocking a ton of those feathers, but just producing so much damage. Excellent value. A lot of people underestimate Risky Honey and Gregor builds. This is something we've talked about before. Oh, too, wait, this is anti-sorted. They... Nice. Oh, okay. oh. Nice. So I got Very this asking nice. in Yuki Shop, why? isn't and my sax trying to blow away the barrier it's because they're in beast out and they're probably not confident in the input it's very 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 sensitive in beast yes pack fire yeah. it is more difficult because your buster goes off faster yes absolutely more difficult not impossible though you, you can do it but it, you have to really pay tell <laughs> oh this is looking real dicey 
Okay, only one in a dream. Nice invisible, gonna last till the end of the round. Go drop your defenses now. Is this piercing? No, it's element SP, but what do you go for? Oh, recovery. No. Ooh. You should have gone grass, right? Because then you could have gotten the one HP oh, back. This, this isn't gonna work out. They still have that invis. The beast isn't gonna. Well, this is why they're trying to go for Gundel oh. Soul first. No, but the beast won't use it, even in invis. In theory, but I don't know. I'm pretty oh. sure they're coded to not use a light pulse and uh and invis piercing chips if the opponent is flashy or invisible. But I've seen it with um chips oh. while the opponent is invisible. Oh, yeah. Back row, you're waiting. Yeah, see. This is it. Time is running out. Oh, there it is. oh <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, that feels bad, man. It. it actually did it, and here we are, game three. Let's go. Four, eight, it's wow. just the train is so fast. Is it faster than Poison Barrel? I'm not sure. Like it's, it's, it's definitely so, faster than Poison Barrel. Oh, for sure. Crazy. I think that's old school Poison Barrel levels of train. Yep. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Wow, Gundel Soul. And we were just talking about it. Sanctuary doesn't even matter to it. It's irrelevant when you have the power of the sun in the palm of your hands. Yes, that's a Spider-Man reference. Yeah, I would think it's Beast Over is coded like that to be uh, more fair because Beast Over is sort of like the British lyric status in yeah. 4 and 5, and that was really frustrating. That would be equivalent to like Dark Mega Man levels of of cheese, right? If you were able to do that, like. <laughs> well, like they, 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 yeah, they really toned up Beast Over, so thank goodness for that. Like, what really? Oh, wow. Ow. The no mix up, mix up is crazy. <laughs> I think that was a grass hit, right? That really hurt. Yes. It was a times two tackle. No, pressing A doesn't do anything in Beast Over. It doesn't listen to your inputs. It's not like Dark Mega Man. Yeah, not even remotely. It has a mind of its own. Literally beast it out. Dark Mamia still lets you cut in slash TFC too, which is absolutely yep. disgusting. Beast yep. over doesn't yep. let you do that. that. That's the most vile thing for me with Dark Mega Man. Dark Mega Man just does too much, man. Too much. But thankfully, we don't have to deal with that here in Battle Number 6, so we take those, right? <laughs> yeah. I definitely like the idea of sending back this GDS. And yeah, I want to send back as much as possible. I might have sent both of the Element Man and the Panel Grab back. But at least you can try to lock down the back row fan fear, which isn't bad at all. It's especially since you drew the second Panel Grab, so you, there's the options for that. Raymu in YouTube chat saying Beast Over would be cool if it randomly did cross beast charges. Yeah, I love getting hit by a random race tail arrow because RNG is the deal of it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, yeah, you know. Well, it's beast over, right? So it'll probably be just the slashes. But it's still free damage. Even if one of those hits, that's a hundred, you know? That's that's really good. I mean, yeah, that would still be really nasty. But I mean, just imagine you race tail arrow deleting your invis anti-damage defense. That's so cool. Okay, interesting choice from Cha here going for the element man ice instead of like a wood. Probably because he values the poison panels on in my Sax's side versus but then you did it you did ice on the front row right so i don't know how true that is maybe they wanted what I'm not sure it just occurred to me that the get on chip graphic the icon is literally a t pose well that's an a pose <laughs> technically but i don't know i said it's a misinput in chat I mean, yeah, I, I feel like it's a misinput too, but it, only Cha can really confirm that, right? You know, I gotta say, I really love the resurgence of Barrier 100 being played. A lot of people are kind of like leaning towards that now. That. Interesting choice to misinput. I would simply <laughs> not misinput. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, and the area grab to recover this area here. That's actually pretty good, but B, once again, gonna steal away a Mega or a Giga Chip. Hopefully it's just, <laughs> it's just a Mega Chip. This is why we hate that bird. B does not discriminate in the slightest. He, he takes what you give, and if you've given him good eats, he's gonna eat good. That's why we have that art. Shout outs to Rockin'. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the debut of Slash Cross in this match so far. I like this placement. It's going to be very hard for you to deal with this. Could be worse. Could have been a slow gauge turn, but there's no slow gauge, thankfully, for MI Sacks. But you're going to lose a ton of HP now. I think you have time for like one or two more. Nice. Good decision to go with the grass panels here. Now you can at least threaten charge. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Charlie came through, broke the right panel, which means Chad no longer has access to moving into that panel for damage. And it makes it much easier for MI Sax to line up a another charge shot. You know what's fascinating? If uh if MI Sax randomly got like a six hit meteor knuckle, then the well, actually, they would need seven hits for Cha to be taken to one HP. Eight hits would actually be a deletion. Just, yeah. just, roll, just roll eight hits. No problem. It's just easy. Honestly, I wouldn't go Tomahawk right here. I think I would go Tango. Tango into pull, area grab, and then just get your maximum, maximum effort. I would always use the area grab first. I think this is a little weird. Yeah, that's what I mean. I oh, I but okay. Nice. Meteors! Wow, trying to get a D-Cross punish here! That was a Not good punish, because uh, he, they didn't need to use that anti-damage on the E-Race, so, or it was an Invis race, so that was good. They, they lost both defenses like that. Ooh. Wow, and the defense for the Knuckles, too! Excellent plays coming from Chai here, but now near variable. Really Just nice TFC turn on both sides. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> It's insane! He was like, yo, hold on, I know you got so I'm just gonna block real quick. <laughs> That's great. Risky Honey just so good, man. No matter what version you're playing, you can just do a decent amount. Even if you're just blocking with it, right? That's damage you avoided. And in this case, that's 220 damage we just avoided. All right. Sanctuary finally in play once more. No answers to it either. Go for the area grab, get this area down. Now you have some holy panels to your name. The uninstall does hit. We can get a D-Cross here, nice. But the damage is half, so it's basically neutral damage for that D-Cross. And again, oh, if you catch them in the back row is wraps. Oh, this could be really good. Oh, this is really good. Get him for the trap. Anti recovery up to deny the recovery from a recover 300, hopefully. Barrier 100 is not going to help you in a minute, friend. Oh, but gets the step forward. That was so important. In case the chip charge was the one that was gone for. Anti recovery, nice. Was that roll? I'm unsure if that was roll. Oh, there's Tango. Nice. Wow, that's just looking. <laughs> that is a lot of barriers now that I think about it. That's three barrier hundreds because of the Tango. Mm hmm. That's pretty cool. The defensive value that Cha has gotten out of those chips this game is insane, especially with that Risky Honey. It blocked two really important attacks in this game and the last game, too. Really came through for Cha here. I don't think there's enough time for the Gundam Soul before the panels run out. I would actually Aqua Spiral here. Ooh. That's... Oh, they're gonna buffer the Gundam Soul here. Nice! Oh, that okay. damage is just so fast, it's crazy. Nice. Yeah! Oh yes! 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 
Yo, the curse has been broken. <laughs> the curse has also been that, broken. That's a really funny thumbnail. Watch oh out, Tiny Movies. <laughs> oh so no, he has AirPods. He can't hear us. <laughs> For those who are new to the N one, there has been a curse on the Aqua Spiral that if you use it in a set, and even if you do maximum hits with it, you'll always lose that set. This is the first set in a long time that we've had on stream, no less. The Aqua Spiral deleted and won the match. This is the curse is broken. That's it. It, it, it took in my sex today to break this curse. It, maybe it's going to be better for everybody. Well, usually what happens if the Aqua Spiral misses later in a match, it's just it's, it's just over. But um. <laughs> yeah. Excellent set to both players. That was really awesome to see. We even got to see Sun Moon, which is a very, very lovely treat to have. But on to the next players, of course. The show must always go on. And next up, we have Ladybug versus Ruiz. All right, let's get into the setups. All right, two Gregor players are locked in today. This is what I like to see. One, a more traditional tried and true cust, known as the Buster Cust. This is a very, very solid cust here that has air shoes, a custom one, and just the general good stuff that Gregor needs to be successful, namely attack max, rush, and charge max here. Of course, both players are bringing their shirts because you never leave home without a shirt. The shirt is just important. You need it. Don't argue about it. It's, it's, it's important. All right. Unless you're a Fowler player and you're playing like Hub or something. Right? Uh, it's just one square. There's never a reason not to bring it right there. <laughs> just, just put it in there. It's safer. But um, yeah, this is a really solid cut here from Ladybug. And the Navi cut from Reese here is another pretty interesting cut. It has two HP plus 50s in it instead of the beat that usually goes in that slot. You can either put beat in that slot or you could put rush in that slot, right? In the center there. But he opted for two recover, uh, two not recovers, two HP plus 50s, which is really interesting, which gives you 1500 HP, which is a really solid HP slot, I believe. What's more important is that you get the cuss too, and you still get some shoes in the form of float shoes, which is still pretty nice for a Gregor player to have. That means you're not going to be dealing with ice panels, poison panels, any kind of panels like that, conveyor belts, et cetera, et cetera. So it's definitely a good program to have in your build. Now, as far as these setups go, let's take a look at Ruiz's setup. This is a pretty interesting one that a lot of Gregors tend to go towards because Elect Dragon L and of course the Magnums are on code with uninstall. So not only are you going to be cracking and breaking a lot of panels to position your enemies to a liking of your choice, but they also get boosted by Erase Cross and Elect Cross. So it's a very popular code to go for when splashing in Gregar. So really nicely done here. And I do like that we brought the barrier 200 in this build for extra defense. We also have the recover 300, so we have even more HP than usual. I think recover 300 has become a really important staple in this modern med metagame. However, I do think people might start tacking anti-recovers because of that, because I, I feel like many builds now are packing this Recover 300. Ladybug is not, however. Let's take a look over at Ladybug's build. First of all, shout out to Ladybug. They do have an awesome YouTube channel. You should go check it out at some point. They put on lots of cool content down there. But that aside, this is a pretty interesting build because we're rocking D, which isn't played too often, but it has its merits because it has two on code SP navvies in the form of Dustman SP and Diveman SP. Diveman is a, it's a very quirky chip because it attacks the front most two panels in front of you. Even if it's like, if you have a panel grab, it will still do the two panels in front of your left and right side, but it extends a little bit further for the center or wherever that panel is grabbed at. So it's really interesting on how you you get the damage done from that. It's it, only one area grabbed in this folder, though, might be a little awkward for that. But 
we do have one. Oh man. Okay, no, we have two grab banishes. Okay, two grab banishes and ten heavy to steal a judgment, possibly, and a judgment of your own. That should be a decent amount to go ahead and protect your area. But you're playing Gregar, so it can be a little awkward based on when or how you draw these uh these cards, right? You do have one tag to Windrack here, which is really good, and you have a reg Windrack, so you always have a way to combat Aura at a moment's notice. Or if you want to use the flat, the Windrack to combo, you have the choice to do so. So I like that. That's actually really cool. But it might be a little tough to run this this folder. Oh, I guess we're gonna find out right now. Let's roll the clip and see how it turns out. Oh, this is a good theme right here. Classic Battle Network 4 boss theme. Oh, so good. I love Battle Network 4 so much. Okay, this is a pretty interesting hand, right? We have the grass panels, which means these black bombs are gonna do double the damage here. Well, at least one of them will. <laughs> I'm vibing really hard right now. Okay, I think I like the idea of going for this right away. I would go Heat Cross. Yeah, get that plus 50 damage in there. Oh. No, no Heat Cross? Get the plus 50, which will double up to 100 thanks to the Grass Battles? I think that's viable. Your opponent's also not playing Thalzar, so you don't have to be worried about... You don't have to be worried about possible B left absorb all the objects, but you do have to worry about a charge tackle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the the body automatically exploded the bomb! <laughs> That's so tragic. Oh, no. oh my god! No way! That's not even fair! Ruiz, I'm so sorry, dude. That's... <laughs> Yo! Yo, what? That's crazy, dude. <laughs> Wait, 700? It does It does 600 and then there's the contact damage? Wow, that's crazy. Yes, yes it's so good. <laughs> Man, it fell <laughs> right in the charge across his chimney there. It was it was like basketball. Is he in there? You can't do that. That's the wrong hoop. <laughs> that's the wrong hoop, my guy. Oh, oh man. my god, that's so tragic. That's hilarious. I think it's the contact damage and the explosion happening on the same frame, which is why you ended up taking that, right? That that makes sense to me, right? I think it's because it was a counter hit, right? That's that's so unfortunate. <laughs> It was a first of all, you threw a bomb, got a counter hit with it, it blew up. <laughs> oh, come on, that's too much. That's a highlight. Yo, someone clip that. That's someone. <laughs> Somebody's got to clip that, please, and put that in the in the end one for sure. That, <laughs> no way, dude. Oh man, wow. Okay, this is also a really cool follow up here because we now have. The, the fire burner with the uh, uh, the white capsule here. So the white capsule will allow that fire burner to paralyze. And then you also get the extra damage from heat and you can follow up with a machine gun. So I think this is pretty hot. Oh, dang, I didn't do that on purpose. Oh, we forgot they were flashing. That's unfortunate. But at least we do have the machine gun here to help trap the opponent. Oh, but they're, they're stuck. They're stuck because of the black bomb. That's hilarious! Wow, okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. 
Anki Navi is really strong here, I feel like. There's definitely a, a drive for Ruiz to want to counterattack with something big. And Anti Navi could be a big punish for that. Just step up to your top row first. Make sure you can get that clear passage because if you end up stealing ground men, that's going to be a ton of damage for you. Oh, there's holes up there too. Never mind. They, oh, wow. Everyone wanted to play walls today, I see. Okay, no, just going for the recovers, which is a very good self. A really good play to go for here. Just an exchange of traps, nothing too important. Confirming that is an anti-damage is important for Ruiz here, unless Ladybug decides to tip charge. Wow. Did the Black Bomb do more damage than the Beast Charge? I think the Beast Charge does 240? Dang, I forgot how much Black Bomb does. Is it, is it, it's three... Black okay, it's 300 normally. 250. But okay, yeah, so plus plus 50, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Definitely better, definitely better. Good play, good play. Yo, this phone is kind of high, yo. Like, I'm so sorry. I really didn't do that on purpose again. I was Could've about to ask, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Why, this is going to hit the anti damage, too. Oh, Dive, man! Oh, 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 Nice. Stepped over. No! Oh, just <laughs> not, not good enough on oh, the matching. So I think you could have just hit that. No, I no, don't think so. The kernel, the kernel for stun is... It's too high. Oh man, that they was so tough. Potentially maybe try to buff or boop it, so they could have extended the anti-damage slightly, but I don't know how. That's so sad. Oh, yeah, that was rough. Man, you, you start from the highest of highs, but still Reese was able to find a way to circumvent his situation and come back out at top. Like, this is why I love this game. It's not over till it's over, you know what I'm saying? Everyone's got a shot if they keep going at it. Oh man, maybe if Ladybug was so fortunate to draw like a machine gun in that moment, they could have buffered the machine gun and just tanked the entirety of the Colonel Force, but just didn't have it. Just didn't have it, unfortunate. What is fortunate though is once again, we have the black bombs in hand. Uh, hey Ruiz, you gonna go turn one charge again? Asking for a friend. <laughs> I just wanna know. <laughs> Well, there's no grass here anymore, so it's not that bad. Right? Yeah, we learned lessons. We, <laughs> we learned lessons. Definitely condition. Oh, too slow on the barrier. And the barrier took damage too. Wow, that's unfortunate. Okay, nice invisible. Not going to take any damage from the machine gun, but we do get a chance to... Oh, no, no chance. Oh, dang, could have mashed the LNR there to try and preserve that anti-damage by changing crosses. Unfortunate. Okay, of all these chips, I think the one I just don't like is the Fireburner, man. I, I'm not a fan of Fireburner. Maybe it's better now that we have Tango. How do you feel about that, Salad, if you're still here? Word, good answer. I'll take that. Oh, uh, wait, no, sorry. What was the question itself? I missed it. How do you feel about Fireburner now that we have Tango? Do you think it might be a little bit better? I've always actually liked it because the panel crack is quite good on it. No, no not Fireburner. I'm sorry. Burner Square is what I'm talking about. No, I don't. I think Burn Square is almost never worth it because it's the, 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 the highest tier is what? 140 damage. It also doesn't work on holes. Like, I feel yeah. like the reasons for it would be, like, really niche, like, having the flexibility of destroying a back row object in your field. But, like, there's so many other options for that. I, I just do not think that was worth it. Yeah, yeah. like, Blastman Star. I mean, you take a hit on 20 damage. Yeah. You're still dealing with panels all over because you can hit all three. You're also you removing grass from your own panels. Actually, I guess that's one thing Burnstore can do, but, like, nah, it's just, nah. 
Yeah, it's, I think that's like the weakest ship, like one of the weakest ships in the game. You know, that's one thing I don't talk about enough. Like, what do we think is the 10 weakest ships in the game? Everyone wants to talk about the best this, the best that. I, I want to talk about the weakest ships and why they're bad. Although, D cross here into Elect Dragon. That's a double damage attack just now. Thanks to that Aqua Bubble State. Nice. Okay, going for the Grass Panels here will also give you that movement option that you want. Bluffing. Oh, nice. Bluffing the Chip Charge here into getting that juicy damage off to the Burner on the times two. Oh, very nice, very nice. But I think Lady Gitmug is about to get clapped up by this uh, this wind rack for sure. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't think he can do the dodge this. Maybe walk forward if you buffer forward. But wind rack is weird. I feel like you still get hit by it. Okay, you know what? If you wanna, if you wanna do this right, I think you dive man then throw the flash bomb, then th go for the dust. I, I think, think they're in this right now. They should start with the flash bomb. Oh, e even better, even better. Yeah, there's no point in going flash bomb here because you have the white capsule if that's what you want to do. No, I think uh, Rui's like went into invis near the end of last turn, so I would have had opened the flash bomb. Huh? Are they not? Am uh -huh. I wrong? Oh, wow. Okay, oh, I'm wrong. Haha, <laughs> JK. Oh, is that what you wanted to do to tip charge? Oh, that's pretty smart, actually. Nice. Oh, dust won't, dive man won't reach. Man, won't reach. Oh, no, nice. it reaches. Oh, it wow. reaches. Yeah. Yeah, dive it, has some very cool. Yeah, it still, it still reaches. That's really hot. Yeah. Oh, does reach? Okay. All right. I thought it would be like a situation where it goes downward because you're on the bottom. No, dive man. It's always the the front of your area, so it's actually really nice. good if you have weird panel grab shenanigans, like Aqua Man requires you to camp the back, so that's the one perk of Dive Man. I think the only disadvantage to Dive Man is that it's on Decode, and Decode's not the most popular. But it's still really good, like, it's kind of slept on. The holes make it hard, though. Especially in the format where people are using Getem quite profusely, you know? Or profusely, excuse me. This is an interesting hand, but bringing both of the, the banishes here, I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of. You don't have many, yeah, you don't have many ways of like getting panels back and you brought all of them in this one hand, but it might not even matter if you just delete your opponent. Oh, oh, wow. This is why we bring our shirts. This is, yo, someone clip that. This man had one HP, recovered for 300 and it's still in the game. Oh, maybe not much longer, but... Okay, now you see, they're still alive. And that happened only because of Undershirt just now. All right. Just need to drop the base and you're good here. I think the only thing you're scared of is like a TFC. Yeah. But yeah, like this is, that's just what's, that's your win con. Like base is the best chip in the game. Like just do it. You're supposed to... You're supposed to co-sign me after after I say that to make to make me feel better about base, right? Because I think base is the best ship in the game. Like, Sorry, I'm just I'm just focused on the base right now. I want to see that base. Yeah, that's no trouble. Okay, starting off the chain, off. nice. Trying yeah, to get a bait. Okay. Solid that's game two. Solid frame. game two. So I, I don't know, Dive Man has a lot of disadvantages compared to Spout Man, right? Spout Man is yes, how much damage? Yes. 360, Dive Man is 270. It's, it's a little yeah. weird way to balance it, but... Yeah. But, but Actually, what's important Aquaman, is the emotional what, damage you deal with Dive yes. Man. Emotional and mental damage is the best form of damage you can inflict on an opponent mid-set. I would love to see if Dive Man had like a drag effect or something, at least push them back after hitting. That would be pretty spicy. That would be interesting. Like big push mechanic and then you could just follow up with whatever you want that doesn't flash. Like that, that'd be kind of gross, honestly. Well, yeah, that's why I think drag might be like big push might be a little too much, but if at least push them back so you can like protect your own area like that, that would be kind of cool. Wait, which joke? 
It's always interesting in seeing how Gregor players interact with the rock cubes on their field. Sometimes they just go right into charge. And you can kind of take that to unless you just kind of... Oh, no! No! Oh, nice! Oh, nice! Reese using charge tackle. So charge tackle, when you do use that charge shot, it does give you iframes and invulnerability. So using the charge tackle at that moment, a lot of them just tank the hit from the black bomb. Nicely done, Reese. Excellent way to keep momentum. Sagan says in YouTube chat, Dive Man can work on hull. So that's something Dive Man has over spout. But um, well, yeah, you can summon Dive Man over in hull, which I think is a programming error. But Dive Man itself needs holes for uh, Needs, needs a full, panel. full yeah. panels for the, yeah. the water to actually come out, but it can hit if opponents are on holes. It's just they can't spawn the wave on broken panels, so that's another caveat. Right. And that's kind of what makes it so scary too, because you just don't you don't know when or where those holes are going to be popping up. And the holes yeah. are so prevalent in this format, like even without getting in play, like you have dust cross and uh, the beast charges with the leg and such. It's it's a lot. China TV is asking, does drag even work with a free status? Yeah, it's uh, it's just drag will delay the free status. So you're going to get pushed it back and then you're going to be frozen and it's going to overwrite a uh, flashing state if you have it, which is really cool. Weird property of freeze. Wait, why why would Soul chastise you for that? That's a great that's a great pun. I'm like player zero puns. I hate player zero. Um, I don't chastise anybody for puns that are very clever, but if you're player zero, yeah, I'll chastise you every time, like, oh, like 100%. Man. I mean, to begin with, his puns are not clever, they're just... God, I hate that guy. Yeah, me too, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is an all-star hand with just a single D up in there. I do like Fireburn 3, though. I mean, it helps that the colors that it's in doesn't have that many other chips, but... Yeah. And Tatas says in Twitch chat, it's so sad that Dive Man died of permahole. So true. You race him in here? Just trying to get the line up? Nice? Oh, but you had it! All right, yeah, all right, you took the hit, might as well. Barrier 200, nicely done. But I feel like you just wasted a lot of time in this turn. At least we can do damage to this barrier, maybe get rid of it right now, follow up with a fire burn. Okay, not bad. Able to squeeze out those chips at the very tail end there, nicely done. I feel like, I feel like Ruiz is gonna go for a big play. I, I just, I feel it in my gut. I feel Colonel Force is Colonel coming right now. Okay, Floppy Disk in YouTube chat is asking, did something happen since my last watch? Since I think we're talking about hating Player Zero. No, we're all good friends. We're all good friends, and Player Zero is a great member of the community, unfortunately. And uh, has really helped us on the back end as well. Keeps things running in the past. Um, no, we're, we're just joking because um, he wins all the time, and he all has filthy RNG luck, so we all hate him, yeah. He's, he's a net criminal. It's natural to hate nut criminals, right? Or bad guys. Players will look in your eyes and tell you this is the option you have, and it's a hundred percent like RNG and like yeah. based on positioning. <laughs> yeah. I would simply roll better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he keeps he keeps like doing really really bad puns, so so that so he's terrorizing on the on the back end. You have to understand. Five fifty HP. That would be a kill point if you had attack plus 30, but unfortunately, oh wait, what? 550? No, maybe it's like 5, 540 or 520, I'm thinking of. Uh, this is this is a little risky. You know, maybe you will force out a reaction because you're using Geddon. Like, uh, to, to use a defense option on a Geddon turn, 
makes sense to me if you're trying to reserve your your B charge, right? Like if you have a second null ship and you have Invis in hand, maybe you will respond to get in so you can just safely dump out damage from the UAC piece. This could work. But then that second ship could just be a defense too. Oh, it's just area grab. Yeah, don't TFC to that. Hold your B button. No, no. You should have held your B button first. Yeah, that would have been really good pressure here for them to use that life aura. And then they would be really low health now. Yeah, like look at that yeah. machine gun go. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> like, wow. Get them to 100, this right here, yeah. Oh, oh my oh gosh. Oh my goodness, yeah. Gregor Buster. Oh man, that's just so much damage, dude. Like what? He had 500 before. <laughs> 550, like, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's really crazy, that's dude. That's gross, yo. Because holes <laughs> last like how long? Like, oh, holes last it? like what? Like nine seconds? Is it? That was like a gun fall. Oh, good recovery here. Oh, this is it. How long do holes <laughs> last for Honor Knight? Oh, using the beast charges. Dodge this one, dodge this one. Nice, this is really big. Reese is gonna have to have a win back and go into a beast over if they want to get the KO with Colonel Force. But that's a, I think it's a little bit much to ask for right now. Maybe he does have it though. But do you even want a beast over at this point? Oh, this is a tough decision. Yeah, hold on a oh, second. Oh, okay, so hold 10 seconds, second. not nine, yeah. Hold on a second, hold on a second. I, I got beef. Now, now I'm upset. In Twitch chat, well, that's S goes. Wow, the Greco Buster did more damage than base, and I I'm taking that personally. <laughs> I, I, I decided to take that personally. <laughs> okay, oh God, I love I mean. love my man. No, it feels so good. Just yes. just hitting it, even though it's objectively just less damage and spell. It just feels so good, man. I think taking a charge shot to decross a corn shot is not bad, especially since you you have the anti damage. But I guess you don't want to just use it, right? Okay, flash bomb is really solid here, but again, it's the follow up we're looking for. You, you could go for the fire burner. I don't think fire burner was used a single time in this match, was it? It looks like it yeah, was based on those panels there. Like, no, it wasn't because, because there's only one fire burn, uh, not fire burn, excuse me, I keep, I keep burn saying square, that. Okay. Square. There's only one burn square in the folder and Ladybug has had it in every single game. Wait, do they not have ob objects to spawn for Dustman? No, not many, no. Oh, that's a little weird. It's more, it's probably more so just because it's on code, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I would have definitely just gone for area grabs over to burn square though. Yeah. The one more burn square uh, uh, area grab would have been better. I definitely agree. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, Twitch chat. Burn square is so bad that you keep calling it by a different name. It, it really be like that, yo. <laughs> wow, that oh, one man. hour we lost from daylight savings is absolutely wrecking me right, me right now. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel so? I'm a little tired too, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we can't hear it from your casting at all, so that's... I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I, I always have energy, I'm like the Energizer Bunny, I just keep going and going and going and going and going. <laughs> so you're like bass, but with bunny ears? That's what I'm hearing here? So I would love to commission some bass with bunny ear art. If you can do bass with bunny ear art, I'm all for it. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> okay, throw me $20 after this. <laughs> you need your money, please don't, I'll drop for you for free. We're buddies. <laughs> A toxic relationship. <laughs> Don't do that, artist. <laughs> Always charge for your services. Oh no, the friends were. Oh my gosh. That flash bomb actually saved Ladybug here, throwing it down. It interrupted Maurice's responses, couldn't do anything with it, but now we're forced into this position of going for a beast over now. Into nothing. Oh, this doesn't feel good. Just tiptoeing your Jordans and you'll be all right. Yes, sir. 
Oh man, this is not where you want to be. One HP in a dream, no chips, nothing. I got to die. Oh, okay, <laughs> he's been lying up in the perfect position too. Thanks, Beast Over. I mean, not that it matter, but not quite. But yeah, excellent game. That was tough for sure. Ladybug did bring some heat to the game. God. I'm really not doing this on purpose. I'm really not doing this on purpose. This is this is bad. Play zeros here in spirit. I feel it. <laughs> Excellent game, Ladybug. Thank you for the dive man footage. That helps. Yeah, thank you. It's like a wash oh. of a fresh internet seawater, I guess. Very, very oh, fresh. Man. Very fresh, very fresh. And staying hydrated is always good, of course. Oh, look what our next setup is. LDR versus Ubu was funny. It's the two kettle players. Yeah, actually, they're both playing Little Boy. Okay, Honor, and I'm looking at you. I know why you did this. Okay, I see. That scares me. What do you know that I don't know? They're both playing Little Boiler. Okay. Yeah. Are, are, are you insinuating anything? Like, I feel like... I mean, they have the same chip. That, that's so wacky, uh-huh. <laughs> well, I, I do know Ubu setup. This is the best friends finally forever setup, the BFFF folder. So <laughs> we we have the awesome dudes. <laughs> the tank cannon isn't even on code. The Ubu <laughs> is such a legend. That's so funny. Oh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna deduct one point though, because. Actually, no, 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 never mind. They they do have the spout anyways. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is looking good, man. I like this. I mean, it's okay. I do. I see where you were going with the, with the one point. You think that should have probably been like Proto Man, right? That makes sense. That makes sense to me. No, I thought it was going to be a, I thought it was going to be a tank cannon A to go with spout man. But no, I see the spout oh. man in there. I guess if Ubu oh. was uh, even more um, unhinged, they would have actually done a tank cannon M. So it's absolutely not on code. <laughs> but, but yes this is a really solid build here i do gotta say i love both of these custs uh, specifically looking at LDR, ldr's cust it is missing out on the three spaces because we wanted to avoid having the the warp bug which is fair i definitely think that's fine but to make up for that we have the folder pack one which means we get one additional mega chip in the folder and i think that's a cust one right it's one mega chip in one cust yes it is but that still means they're running cust two level bug which is a little scary i mean yeah. also three spaces missing for a bug cuz it's not bad that's actually pretty that's pretty it's valuable pretty good. it's pretty good but that cost two in exchange though that cost two bug is very 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 scary to me we do have the bug fix and it is at the top of the folder so the likelihood of getting it early on is pretty decently up there but it's still very scary. We, you have to aggressively uh, protect your dust in a build like this. This is exactly why we see the first barrier in this build, because we can go for an immediate full cast if we are regging it, which LDR is. We can also go ahead and bait rush early, get that out of the way, which isn't in play for this game, but it could come up for other games because rush is very popular. Wait, so it's hold up. Next it is saying it's only cust bug level one for LDR. Am I missing something? That's folder pack and custom two. Shouldn't that no, be uh, custom bug too? Yeah, that's definitely got to be custom level too. Yeah, yeah okay, for sure. okay, okay. Next, it's spreading fake news here. Okay, go on. So, you know, could you imagine if that was only one? That would be broken. What? Like, like how do you how do you do that? Like, I want that. But yeah, yeah, for sure. But um, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and pretend, right? So, there is a player that I am favoring to win this matchup. For no specific reasons, <clears throat> but um, <laughs> I feel like I feel like this is gonna be a great match. Let's hop into it and see how it plays out. Yeah, I actually I like LDR. Like they have a really positive attitude. I yeah, like the energy they're bringing. It's really cool. For sure, for sure. All right. Of course, both players are playing that very powerful program in the form of first barrier. Now you might be wondering. Barrier 10 isn't great. Why is first barrier any different? Well, starting off with it, again, protects whatever cross you're leading with, and it heavily punishes builds that are not playing attack investment, which neither of these builds are. So usually, 
if you're playing like a, a typical Gregar build, your attack is five. So when you go for a buster shot, it'll do five damage to the barrier. A second one does 10 easy PC, two shots, it's gone, right? But in this situation, it takes 10 shots for us to clear the first barrier, which forces us into a position of using much more powerful chips to help us deal with that, which is why we saw Stop Man from Uvu right away, because it dealt with the barrier and still did damage. So it wasn't a total loss. Ooh, nicely done for LDR. Punishing Uvu for camping that back row there. Very nice, very nice. But even there, Uvu could have potentially avoided all the damage from that machine gun just now, right? If he was able to move around. Unfortunately, he got crossed up, so it didn't work out the way he would want. But that first barrier gave him the opportunity to be able to do that, right? So he might have not even gotten decrossed here. Oh, machine gun trading immediately on the second turn, but now, hey, Uvu does have that. Oh, that's the sh shield two in the program. How nice. Okay, okay. Uvu <laughs> in, in YouTube chat, one day I will learn to dodge machine gun. I understand, but <laughs> I've been there too. Uh, sometimes I'm still there. <laughs> Now, here's the bigger issue for LDR specifically. We lost our access to dust, which means we're... Oh, oh tank cannon jump scare. Followed by a blast, man. That, how rude. Okay, that's that is amazing. <laughs> but as you can see, we still don't have bug fix in our hand, and we don't have a way to find it with that awesome ability of dust shoot, right? So now we're in a situation where LDR is gonna have to start using these chips because starting next turn, they're gonna start going away at a very, very, very alarming rate. Okay, little boiler in hand. Little boiler is an interesting chip. You do damage to it, the more damage it does. Okay, there's the boiler. For the class, nice. Do some more damage. That doubles it. Oh, LDR gets me with this setup all the time. Literally all the time. Into GD. Yeah, that's, that's GD. That's GD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's too much damage. That's too much damage. He literally hits me with that setup every time we play. Every time. It's just so much damage. So. I think LDR actually named this ability. He calls it the LDR special, the, the LDR combo, because it's kind of unique in the way that he has orchestrated that, that ability into his folder. It's, it's kind of cool. It's a very tricky setup, but when you have it, it's, you can't stop it as you just saw. Okay, all right, LDR, you, you can't, okay, LDR, listen. You can't receive freeze and then immediately throw your flash bomb off the screen, right? Right after that, like, you, don't, don't do that to me, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I can't bolster you and then you, you, you what are we doing, bro? Come on, bro. <laughs> Missing purpose. Oh, man, okay. This sanctuary is pretty huge, but we're seeing a little hesitation in using it because Char Best Cross, excuse me, has the ability to use those charge shots that do break panels. And thank you, Charlie, for breaking those channels. But because we have Erase Man, not only were we able to deal with the cross itself, but we also got rid of that trap as well. So very excellently done for LDR here. This is a pretty, pretty good position to be in. And immediately we find the bug fix turn two. Nice, very nicely done. Oh, nice counter hit. Oh, this is tough. No real punish afterwards, though. All right, nice, nice. Oh, okay. Wow, wait a minute. Is that angry? Is Uvu upset? Uh-oh. Ooh, what's the play? What do you do with this, right? Your opponent does have access to sanctuary panels. You're kind of squared off right now. This is 
This is tough. Uh, how loud was the video blurry for? I had to go AFK for for the match since the match I'm not started. Too long. Okay, but for some reason it's back. Now that I'm back, that makes no sense. But okay. Well, okay, the frame rate is still low. I don't think I can do anything about it though. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nothing came out of anger here, but the element man is gonna go ahead and deal with this anti damage. Element man SP. Oh, this is tough. Here comes the little boiler setup. He threw it at his body. He wants the double damage to breaking on ice, yo, LBR. This is something special. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, little boiler strats coming back in 2024. That's what I like to see. Actually, throwables coming back in general is actually kind of hot too because we've seen Black Bomb do a significant portion of damage. And now this. Oh, it was the setup. You were never going to be able to stop this. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. Oh, it's so smart. So smart, Uvu. Just standing directly under that. So that way, when the gun gel soul does come out, you can just literally absorb the damage can from you, the. Oh. Can you imagine that? Just standing perfectly still and having a. Like a, a steel cattle, like a cast iron cattle, just, just hit your head like that, and you're dead. Oh, yeah. And it literally explodes on your head, and you don't even <laughs> flinch. You don't just... flinch or flash. What a unit right there. <laughs> yeah, Uwe is like, I, I know what this is about. I, 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 yeah, I'm not falling for this. Nah. You hit me with this trick once, not, a, not again. No, not, not twice. I'm sorry. It's their own technology. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, Uwe, I guess Uwe's is different. They don't have gun to sell with their coffee pot today. True, true, true. Oh, looks like LDR's in chat. Hi, LDR. Also, yeah, sorry about the stream. I don't know what happened, but um, we did get some Vaseline on there. I guess it was a bit dry. When you're standing flashing inside an object, do you think you can, like, feel the object? You can, like, um, as in, like, do you think you have the object's consciousness? You suddenly have a an urge to boil tea? You mean, like, Danny Phantom, like, Possessing an object or something yeah, so, like that? Something like, like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to say yes. <laughs> nice. Why for excellent mashing. Excellent mashing from Uvi here. Gonna get the punish, get rid of the trap as well, and not do any paralysis thanks to Tomahawk's status guard here. Wait, can someone please draw that? I want to see, um, like, a little, like, a super realistic little boiler, but uh, it has, like, the Tomahawk cross axe and uh the, the head fetter sticking out of it yes but, but of course get, get payment for it because you know yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. We'll support the artist support the artist and one gp 20 dollar donation there you go <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, no, i guess we'll take 20 dollars <laughs> for donations <laughs> oh man all right, here comes the wind rack. Nice. Hub is going to be very huge because Tomahawk Cross has this pretty much unavoidable charge shot in this situation. Oh, no. Uvu. Great adjustment. Try. Oh, Uvu with the locks. Oh, the Invis came in just in time. Trying to time that charge shot to deny the Tomahawk swing was genius, but just barely off in the frame advantage there. I love this. I love this. Oh, good defense, LDR. Good defense. Man, this is really tough for Uber right now. It's a substantial difference in terms of HP differentials here. And of course, the, the Sanctuary panels having all damage as well. This is looking really tough for LDR right now. Okay, oh, that's a good D-cross, but of course the half damage again. Magnum, all right, nice, this could trap your opponent. Okay, interesting. Oh, nice. 
can next to the center there for some decent damage, but oh, the, the Sanctuary panel is just doing so much work for LBR right now. Okay. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what was the all meld of Astlings here again? <laughs> oh, no. It, it was perfect, but it was too perfect. <laughs> he had to see to get rid of the last few. Oh! Wait, that little kettle jiggle, though. Oh. Oh, this is a lot of damage. Oh, this is a lot of damage. Oh, the anger. That did so much damage he gave anger to the opponent. That's crazy. That's that was crazy. anger through Holy Panel, actually. Wow. Yes. What the That's... heck? Oh, my wow. goodness. Oh, because of the Lord Blur. That's really funny. I mean, that seed really made a huge difference because the times two from the fire there would have been so key, but we get the D-Cross. Again, damage is half, so it's going to be like a neutral hit. Wow, Rousey calling me out in chat here. I, I can't do anything about it. It says it's 720 HD right here for me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can, you can see it when I pop it up. See? It's HD 720. <laughs> That's what it says. All right. Good pressure here from the... Okay, I was wondering what Uvu was doing. I was shook. I ain't gonna lie to you. Final turn, both players just out of everything? It's gonna be a damage judge. Uvu just not pressing any buttons. He'll go for these feathers, man. You gotta trade. Oh, uh, I guess I guess it didn't matter. GG. That was a tough set, but man, we got the hot coffee pot with the base, man, delivering your coffee straight to your desk. Bro, it's so nice to see that combo. You anger through Sanctuary? Come on, that's that's kind of good, bro. But that, I mean, just that seed mattered so much. That seed mattered so much because it would have turned the Sanctuary panels into the grass panels. And that damage would have been so significant. Wow, how unfortunate. Hindsight 2020, but um, actually, no, I lied. Yeah, the poison seed isn't part of the PA. That, that's really rough. Oh, man, that's right. He also had Buster 1. <laughs> so that's why he wasn't going for feathers. Oh, man. Oh, that, yeah, that's so rough. Buster 1 is so rough to have. I, I just, I don't know. Yeah, there's so much recovery 300s and also slow gauge now, but not in this match. It, it is very, very tough to play nowadays. People are very resilient. And uh, it doesn't help that uh, with, with a co coffee pot folder like this, your damage is, is uh, not very reliable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, missing the element, man, too. That, that feels really bad. Sanctuary. Sanctuary is such a weird chip because it can simultaneously be so oppressive, but also mean nothing when the panels yeah. get removed almost immediately. Yeah, it's kind of like life form in this game, right? And I, I feel like that's a really good space for it to be in because it's not so, it's not hard to have the answer for it, but it can be oppressive in the right situations. Yeah. Right? And, I, and I feel like that's balanced, right? You want it to be strong because you're, put, you're taking time to put it in your slot, right? If you put a card into your folder, it has to be able to provide you with value. And Sanctuary does that. For however long it takes for your opponent to realize, hey, this got to go. Mm -hmm. It can really slave you from like a slow gauge slash turn. Yes. Yeah. That half damage it's, is huge. Yeah. Okay. Just um, like life form. Are we ready to go on to setups? For China TV versus Honor Night? You good? Okay, let's just go. <laughs> So you might be muted. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm, uh, my bad. My bad. My bad. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I didn't realize. Yes, I am ready. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you're refreshing your watch together too, right? Because you said it's been blurring this entire time. I can't believe you've been casting the Vaseline match this entire time. What a trooper. 
I'm not gonna lie, there was times where I just didn't know what I was looking at in terms of chips. I was like <laughs> reading. That was really going but, off memory to read. But you were so convincing still. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy is such a unit. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, um, for those that are in chat but didn't see the announcement, we actually have a uh, Soul X Cross as a GoFundMe for himself right now. That would really, really help him personally because of a, uh, a car accident he was in. Um, I think it would be better for Soul to explain if he's comfortable. But yeah, uh, we'll be dropping the link in chat um, at the end of the stream. So if you could drop a few dollars instead of donating to the M1GP stream this time, that would be really appreciated. Yeah, if you have any questions, you can always feel free to DM me. I really don't mind. And I'm, I don't expect the goal to be met, first and foremost. And I also don't expect, like, a whole lot from you all or anybody at that point. Just if you have something that you can give towards, that's that's more than enough to me, even if it's like a dollar, dude. But, um, yeah, that would be greatly appreciated. I, I appreciate all. Thank you for the thoughts, Packfire. I'm sure so... Uh appreciates it but yeah pathfire says in chat that they can't pay uh, in due to tap that oh, they're not able to yeah. help Dude, but, like, yeah. it, again just whatever if you have that's fine if you're here for the stream and you're chilling and you're enjoying battle network sits with me that's even better that's what i care about more right now you know what i'm saying at I mean, this point in time we're here for battle network oh well i refresh and it's even blurrier now um I don't know if I can do much about this. This is this yeah. Is same bad. for me, actually. It's it's really blurry. Maybe it's me. No, uh, I like it shouldn't affect the stream for me. It's, I think I just watched the other being being silly right now. Yeah, um, I don't have enough time to to do a workaround and change the stream layout for this one, but I might be able to do something even for next time. Okay. We're just gonna have to deal with it. But yeah, um, on to setups. Uh, when you're ready. Looks I'm like ready. it's Let's do it. Bug Rice Sword versus Cross Divide. That's already very exciting. All right, so Bug Riser Sword is a very difficult ship to pilot and use. It's only seen real success relatively recently from Honor Knight. Now, what makes it so difficult to use isn't that, you know, you can't use the chip and just have value, right? It's more that you're playing Gregor. And when you're playing Gregor, if you build a folder all around a specific chip that is guaranteed not to be found within the first turn, maybe the second turn, depending on your cut size, if you're lucky, is the bigger problem with the chip, right? And again, unlike Falzar, you don't have dust shoot. So you're, you're really trying to find this very powerful chip that's in your folder somewhere without having the means to sift through your folder. This is the only reason why Bug Riser Sword isn't as popular as the other Agigas. However, if you are so fortunate to draw it earlier on, it is an extremely oppressive tool that you can have at your disposal because it allows you to use Slash Cross and or Bug Riser Sword to pressure your opponent into some very precarious positions, right? It's a very powerful chip indeed. I think that Charge Shot does 200 damage per Slash, and charge uh, Slash Cross does 160 per Slash, so you go up to 40 per Slash, but the better part is you can't be decrossed out of it. So, it is very tough, very tough to pilot, but very strong indeed. We do see a cut size here of two, plus for China TV, which is going to be extremely helpful for helping you find that chip. Of course, we don't have the room, therefore, for something like air shoes, but we did find a way to play both B and float shoes instead. So that's going to be really, really strong for China TV. And if you pay attention to the folder, we have not too many code variations and everything that is on code is like a small core together kind of like the elect dragons on v code with the super vulcan and white capsule but j code has the small package of the judgment and recovery 300 this just for fluidity sake that way you don't get caught up and trapped up in the hand with uh, too much variance in terms of letters and codes right because the idea is to get through your folder do damage but get through that folder as fast as possible right Honor Knight, though, is going to give China TV a very tough time with this build. 
mainly speaking because of the uninstall, which can remove super armor, which means you can get stuffed out of your bug riser sword charge shots if you're not careful. So Chinese TV is going to want to pay attention to that uninstall. He's going to want to pay attention and count how many elect dragons he's seen and how many, or if he sees the machine gun as well. So it's going to be very important to pay attention to all that for China TV. But what's even scarier is that Honor Knight is rocking four rock cubes. That's right. Not any other chip in the game. He got four rock cubes. This is really interesting, too, because <laughs> we have dust to be able to suck up and abuse the positioning of the rock cubes. But we also just, it's, uh, you know what? I can't describe it. Let's go into the match and see it. That's where we're going to behold. All right, let's just hope it uh, clears up. It's, it's like weather. We're on satellite internet right now. Sorry, guys, there's some clouds in the way. Why is the... Like, the VOD is slowly moving, too. The stream layout. Okay, I'm, I'm so over it. I see clearly now that the rain is gone, though. Okay, yeah, now it's got, I, you know, yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? This is actually a pretty decent hand. We have immediate beat bait. Luckily, your opponent doesn't have beat, but we could use this to do some damage through first barrier. Instead of dawdling around the time, trying to bust it away, we can just immediately go ahead and take care of that problem right now. And of course, starting off with a bubble wrap is really solid. Bubble wrap is interesting because it, it takes one point of damage and it pops, but it, the barrier comes back after a little while, right? Now, that can be very annoying, especially if you're playing a fast gauge based folder, which this isn't unfortunately, but you know, it's still really annoying to deal with a bubble wrap here. It can just have some really untimely reappearances during like an SP Navi being used. Like if you go for Proterman SP and then suddenly the blood bowl comes back. It's really tough to deal with. Okay. Okay, beat coming in, taking away a mega or a giga. We all know we hate that shit. A hundred percent. Not a fan. Well, beat, not a shit. Okay, this is a really nice hand. We have the recovers here on standby in case we need it. But what we might most likely see is this bubble star into elect dragon combo, maybe going into elect cross to get the times two damage from, or not the times two, the plus 50 damage to our elect dragon, which means with the bubble star encasing your opponent in the water element, you can do times two damage to that for a juicy 400 solid combo to have. not gonna go for it yeah oh the reverse order the reverse order the opposite no giant tv no okay maybe maybe they know something i know this magnum will take care of this trap here oh, oh man times two from the elect dragon from honor knight on that aqua bubble waited for it too should have definitely dropped that anti-damage a little bit earlier that was that also uninstall is going to be yeah. huge to deal with now. Nah, this is really tough. Yeah, Chinese TV really wanted to avoid that uninstall at all costs. And should have been a little more wary of the Elect Dragons in Honor Knight's folder for that reason. Like, imagine if he had that anti-damage there. That would have been really good. There is the scary part, though. If the air damage was there, we have no way of knowing or confirming if uninstall was on that Elect Dragon. So it can be scary if it if it connects and you don't know. But getting hit by it is not much better. Oh, Barrier 200, that's a good defense here. All right, here's our first Rock Cube. Oh, here, here's our second Rock Cube, okay? All right, no, just, just suck. All right, Charlie. Just doing Charlie things out here, okay. Well, he was over there. Not not over there on the night. 
Oh, 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 that, that's such a jump scare. I forgot about the second one. <laughs> we just saw it, <laughs> but I already forgot. It's so interesting playing Rocky with dust, man. That, so good, so good. Okay, waiting on Arnite to make a quick decision here. Probably deciding what sequence of defense he's trying to predict, right? Omni is a very defensively orientated person, so probably trying to decide what's the safest route for him right now. He, of course, he has this life aura, but maybe you want to have something to prevent your opponent from being able to line that up right now. Another rock cube. This is almost a trap. Another rock cube. Okay, here we go. In the suck. It's a full custom. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> You got two bricks in his hand, yeah? You protect your windows. <laughs> oh, man. Isn't this like assault and battery? Like, you can't just be picking up bricks and throwing it at people on there. That ain't right. Finally, Time TV finds the wind rack. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh, no, that did not go well for China TV remotely, that, all right, um, <clears throat> um, you know what China TV, I, what, what, Okay, um, you can't sit still when your opponent has a brick in their hand, China TV. I, I think I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> you, you just, you simply must move <laughs> before you get a rock on his head. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, okay, I'm gonna get to it, let's do it. <laughs> oh, no. No, oh my gosh. Wow. Um This is this is why you play best out of three. We gonna get our get back. That that's what it is. We it's time to get our get back, right, Jenna? That, that's what it is right now. to the match gonna wait to do damage to the barrier i agree beat rearing its ugly head once again i hate that bird for sure for sure i hate that bird okay nice do a little bit of damage pop up your barrier at the end immediate immediate yeah the arm knight don't play that i'm, I'm just letting you know <laughs> yeah, arm knight don't play that bro <laughs> He was probably holding a direction. He was gonna move. The second you went life for it, he let go of his controller and started spamming B back, bro. <laughs> like, frame one, bro. <laughs> you never have enough time, bro. They're never. <laughs> uh, and you got to pull into the volcano pound too. Go ahead, take some. Oh, oh okay. it's out of the way in time. Nice. Oh. No! No! Okay, half damage. Half damage. Thank you, Shanks Ray, but. Duh. Oh, and how are you gonna run up on me, smack me with a wind rack, then dodge the volcano panel afterwards? That was so disrespectful. That was so disrespectful. I did not appreciate that. 
you were supposed to take 50 from that. that that's what we agreed on. <laughs> you can't change the agreement mid-game, bro. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> on a night in Twitch chat said he removed my volcano panels. He deserves it. So the whole time, if you haven't been paying attention, on a night was trying to be left his opponent in some volcano panels, but it just wasn't working, unfortunately. Ooh, ooh. Before the invisible, unfortunate. I dare say deserved though. Rock Hugh has 400 HP right now. He take wow, positioning this rock, you guarantee this setup for this erase man. Unfortunately, oh, never mind. It doesn't matter if you're on that panel and you're gonna push the rock to the back row. You're a villain. You're a villain. You're a villain. This is uh, this is actually horrible. Like, I don't, I don't agree with anything that's happening right now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this. I need an adult. <laughs> oh my goodness. Watch watch Tenet TV immediately lose flashing the second he goes into cust and just eats damage from this Rocky. Oh, that's precarious. Oh, that's very precarious. So Rocky was definitely gonna do damage here. Oh, oh what? What? What is this interaction? What, what are these rock cubes? Oh, okay. All right. Um, this is a star force on a night. You can't simply put double stone in front of you in front of your opponent like that. Like this, this is a star force. Like, what are you doing? Like, and then he sucks the dust cubes up to spit on back. No, I can't. I can't with this folder. I don't know what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Listen. Yes, your opponent can step up. But you you are thinking so hard about this wind drag interaction right now because I am. And if I am, I know you are. Because you do not know how this is gonna go. But, but you need to use this wind drag right now. <laughs> Yo, this is the most important turn of the game. Okay, 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 okay we did it! <laughs> we did it! Good job, Dragon <laughs> Wow. Oh man. Good charge shots, good charge shots here. We're actually winning now in this situation. Electric Dragon in that position, you're not gonna be able to dodge that. Oh, hey, look! Game two, we finally found our, our, our Giga! Yay! We did it, good job, nice! And we didn't take it, wow, because maybe it's not the position to have it. <laughs> this is why it's so hard to use this ship. Like, it's just an inopportune the moment. There's the uninstall into judge man okay we at least trade here not bad not bad finally getting rid of dust on the opposite side of the field what is on the night have though cross divide oh the double hit you into the floor falcon that was sick that was sick that double hit was so important on the bubble because i believe on and i had a little bit more hp to survive that <laughs> that um the super vulcan there but the super vulcan and the double hit was just enough to clear tiny tv here very nice very nice and therefore we got a game three situation <laughs> really said twitch chat amazing giga chip value i agree rug right sword sword definitely carried the last couple of matches here for tiny tv Wait, hold on, I don't know. You can't say that. You can't say our Gigas did so much damage that round you, because you, you drew it in the first game, right? I, I, no, it doesn't work here. It's worse for him. So we pity him, not you. <laughs> I 
This is a little bit of an awkward hand here. Dang, that's crazy. You can't do that to me on a night. You're right. You have like no grabs in this folder. All right, you got it, bro. I'm sorry. I apologize. And you got beat it again. Yeah, I get it, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's the uninstall again. That's not what Tiny TV wants to see. Arna Knight is kind of going to be forced into a position that he might have to go Tengu or Beast out next turn. Yeah, this is a tough hand to look at right now. We lost super armor. We can get some HP back with roll, which is decent. Okay, you know what? I like this. If you step back to your, your middle row, the bubble star will have enough time to travel and you'll have enough time to get that charge shot conversion. Oh, okay. Full custom to the next turn. All right, never mind. Our knight definitely is bringing defenses. That's, that's 100%. That's a given. You probably brought like invis, anti damage, aura. I bet it's barrier two hundred. Okay, no, it's a grab damage first, which means it's none of those things. It might be just more defense than. Wow, cheeky! Oh, no defenses from on night. Okay, this is gonna be some insane value then. Throw it from here. Go for your charge shot. No, you stepped up. That was not good. Oh, you still got it though. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you got mixed. <laughs> this is why I love White Capsule. I'm explaining that the White Capsule threw him off, so he didn't go for a TFC because he wanted to just take the damage. But because of that White Capsule, he was able to get a conversion there. In YouTube chat, Rocking Strider with the weight, you can also chip charge roll. Yeah, absolutely you can. But um, that's not what happened. You're you're thinking maybe beast out, but you can't chip charge roll because it's it's a dimming chip. It had a white capsule on it, which is why it caused paralysis. This rock cube is so so awkward, and we we just gonna suck it up. Just just gonna be left casually. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nice patience, waiting for the judgment. Now two Buster shots will clear out. Oh, nice. Okay. Ah, oh, that's such a waste. Oh man, taking a cue for that trade is not worth. But the rush coming in too. There's not a second cube here, so not going to be able to convert off of it though. Bug Riser Sword. Okay, finally, our Giga is gonna see play in game three of an important set. Who would have thought? <laughs> wow. It's just so sad for Bug Riser Sword. It's it's actually a really good chip too. It's not it's not even that bad at all. Like it's just inconsistent. Nice. Okay, I, I think I like this position. You cannot step back for anything. You will be trapped. Gonna have to wait it out. Oh, that's a good Magnum. That's a really good Magnum. What? I don't know. Why did you do that? Why did you aggressively walk up to in front of your opponent just to use Invis? I thought you were gonna cross divide or something. Wait, you aggressively did that. Like, <laughs> that was the most nothing I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> Just walk up, in this, walk back down. <laughs> All right, sure. <laughs> I do like bringing in the the bubble shield here. Oh, no, that's the wrong TFC. You didn't want to TFC that here. I'm sure Proto Man. Yeah, there it is. Okay. 
You wanted the TFC, the bubble wrap, the proto man. That would have been decent value. Helmet man. Oh, the times two from the bubble. Another rock, you stop it. All right, stop. No more rocks. Please, no more rocks. You really taking the term rock man literally, huh? With this build. Oh man, I said it before you did, so it doesn't count for you. It counts for me only. Sorry, you next it. Maybe next time. You, you see what I did there? Because your name is next it. So it's like next time, right? <laughs> okay. Another Rocky. This can get rid of the. Wow, that was interesting. Seeing a rock cube falling out from a decross dust was nostalgic. One HP in a dream. This is actually still very doable. And the recover 300 in him. Who do I have to yell at? Who do I, I have to yell at that said undershirt wasn't a staple? Who? 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 Who do I have to yell at, bro? Always bring a shirt. Every time. Always bring a shirt. That undershirt is what led you to the situation in the first place. Now you have to recover 300 and you're still in this game because of it too. Undershirt, undershirt is the staple. Yeah, no way. Omni is never letting you have that. Not like that. Mm -mm. You don't have to earn it, friend. Using up both of the white capsules is tough, too. Wow. So smart. Omni is anticipating a white cap. Super Vulcan, which is why we went for. Yep. Okay. This is tough. Oh, survival still. It's just not enough. It's just not enough because you don't have a way to remove super armor. You can just walk out of it. Yeah. Excellent game. Excellent game. Excellent game. Very well fought. Very well fought from China TV. It was just, you just used the extra white capsule too early. Wait, I think you only have one white capsule, in fact. Yeah, that's, it was, it was a cool mix on the, the roll there because you did get value out of it, but you lost so much more because of it, right? Yeah, it was a good one. Well fought match. I liked it. Well played, both players. But that is not all we have for today. And the games must keep on going. And up next, we have not third person versus Cha. Ooh, it looks like Salad stepped away from a second. So now we have a section for Ask Me Anything. All right, here we go. If you guys have any questions, I will answer. It could be Balneric related. It could be related to me. I don't care. Like, what, what, what are we doing? <laughs> I have time for any questions. All right. So here we go. Rafi the Owl Live says, Yo, Soul, what's your least favorite thing about Bass? All right. So my least favorite thing about Bass is how he's handled in the anime. I really don't like how the anime made him a reincarnation of Pharaoh Man instead of like his own thing. And the lore that he had in the games and the manga were really well handled. So I feel like it was just really, really felt like a missed opportunity, I feel like. 
Okay, <laughs> this is tough. I, I, this is slanderous, but I'll answer it for the sake of having to answer it. YouTube chat. Raymu says, "Why is base the worst Giga chip?" Now, because you didn't say anomaly, I will specifically talk about base F, the Giga chip. It is the second best Giga in Gregor's arsenal, but I do think it has its its downfalls. Right, it can't hit an opponent on a, a broken panel or a whole panel for to be more specific. It also only hits by a three by three area on your opponent's side of the field. So if they have an area grab or a plus one in the panel grab range, they can completely avoid the damage of your attack. Or if they beast jump as you use base or use something like charge tackle or anything that moves them out of their own area, base will end up whiffing. So those are some seriously high downsides for the load amount of damage it has innately. But what makes base really good, though, is you can put some multipliers on it with attack plus 30 or double point even. So it can potentially do tons of damage, but those things hold it back specifically. Honor Knight asked in Twitch chat, so what is your favorite battle chip? Favorite battle chip is... <clears throat> Should I talk about that? No, um, I'm going to go next question. I'm going to go next question. I'm going to go, um, go next question. I'm going to go next question. Did I miss anything? Um, why, why are we doing a soul ask? Uber Geek 77 right asked, have you played Duelist of Eden? It's really good. I actually have played some of Duelist of Eden. I am... It's a pretty interesting game, but it's it's just not Battle Network. And, and that's kind of how I feel about it. Um, that's kind of how I feel about most of the Mega Man-like or the Battle Network-like games. Outside of um, outside of Gunvolt, right? I really liked Gunvolt, so I, I did appreciate those games as somewhat like inspired by Mega Man Zero games. But I mean, it's yeah. not just inspired by Mega Man Zero; it's literally by the same people that made it. Right. So that one, that one feels really good and fun to play. So I feel much more better about that game. But the inspired by like the Toho game, I tried and played for a while, and then the, the Eden game. I'm not super interested in it. It is fun, though. Like, I, I do think they're cool. And I think if there was a stream for it, I would check it out. And then if people really, like, wanted to play that, I would definitely support it. But I'm not the biggest fan. I'm not too hooked. Am I, am I missing something? Why is there a soul X cross that asked me anything going on right now? Uh, we, we, we were waiting for you to return so we, we can go to the next setups. Okay, I've been sitting here for a while. I was, I was wondering why. Just, no. I, did, I didn't want to interrupt. So, okay, let's go to setups. All right. All right, the Ask Me Anything is now officially over. It is back to the business at hand. And we are starting off with a really awesome cuss from Not Third Person. They actually borrowed this variation of the cuss from Honor Knight when he won with Bug Riser Sword, but is instead using bass alongside it. It is a cuss to air shoe setup with 1500 HP, but it only has charge plus one. Now charge plus one here is really interesting because Gregor charges are innately fast, fast as heck, like really fast. The only one that you really feel the delay on, like dramatically, is Erased Cross's charge shot. But the other ones, they still get you the charge full value before your opponent's done flashing after you hit them with the last attack, which is still really good, in my opinion. So as long as you can do that, then I think it's fine. Now, the 1500 HP is really nice because lower HP pools mean you can get deleted a little bit faster than usual. So you kind of want that little extra buffer. But what the real value is, is the air shoes in combination with the cuss. So now you can run things like get in or ignore the broken panels on your side of the field and, and still be able to push out DPS or damage from your crosses, etc and have the cut size to go with it too. So that, that's why this is such a valuable cut. It is a little hard to work with at times because low HP is, is tough to use. So you might want to couple it with a couple of Recover 300s. You can opt to not do that, obviously, but in this day and age, it's a much harder thing to do consistently. Yeah, I think that's about it with this cuss. I think that it's just pretty solid overall. And of course, we do see base in this folder, so I'm actually quite happy about that. But the rest of the folder is mostly 
splashes. Like we have F code splashes in here, which is really strong with the Magnum Fs and the two machine gun Fs. We do see the double point for presumably base, but I I like to personally run a secondary chip with base F, either Giga plus one with Colonel Force or Super Vulcan or something else that you can put that double point or attack plus 30 onto because it allows you to mix up the options, right? There is a roll here, which is pretty interesting though, because you can use double point and attack plus 30 on roll. Fish for a counter hit with machine gun three. Um, you know, I, it's an obvious thing to do, but Salad is the one that <laughs> reminded me that's the thing you can do with the machine gun series. <laughs> Like, I don't know why I don't think of that sometimes when I play this folder. But yes, you can fish for counter hits with the machine gun three. Try to get the double boosted roll three on the following turn. You have to be a normal body to do that, though. So it's a little difficult to do. And of course, roll three is off code. So it's not going to be the most seamless sequence. But at least her attacks will break through life aura if you do it that way either way. So. It does beat the barriers. It will still do a ton of damage and you will recover for a ton of HP as well. So it's still something you might want to do or go for. Oh, and looking at the other side, it, it's returning. We have Cha once again. So the horror crawls back out from the depths to try and take another person. <laughs> so we're going to see how this plays out. Let's run it out. OK, let's go. Uh, one sec. Wait, what? Okay, one second. I lost the playlist apparently. Playlist broke. Please fix. Yeah, that was really. That's really weird. Today has been really haunted. Now that I think about it, considering the my mouse software deleting itself too. Ah, I love the tunes, man. I love the tunes. Yo, shout out to whoever made the music patches for this game, just so we can get the awesome, sweet battle network music throughout all the games. And shout out to Mars for making the adjustments to Bingus patch to also have the music mod in, in it as well. Really nicely done. I, I forget who it was that made the, um, the music patches. If you guys remember or know, please send that in the comments below so that way I can, I can thank them as well. They, they deserve the praise as well because without them, we wouldn't have it. All right, turn one. Right away, going for the race cross. Oh, but the life force is going to block that immediately. Which means Machine Gun is just not going to do much of anything here. Oh. Oh, the no mix up mixed up. Oh. All right, so this isn't too bad for not their person. We do have the double Windrax here. Oh, right, 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 right. It was Ideal EXE who made the music patches for us. Thank you so much, Ideal EXE. And thanks for the reminder on tonight. Appreciate that. All right, Barrier 100 going up. Going to block the judgment. The books will be made. So if you have a way to pressure your opponent out of that front row, you will get these panels back. But it doesn't seem like not third person has something to do that right now. And just taking so much damage from the charge shots by Chai here. A lot of damage to lose out on right now. This wind rack will be an excellent way of getting Cha out of that front row. I'm not sure why not third person is playing like they don't have. Oh, is this a reverse trap? Oh, lad, that's crazy. All right, nice. Meteor is not going to do too much damage here. Nice poison feed coming down. That's some good damage from the machine gun. Oh, Anurai also let me know that a player by the name of Or also collabed and made the extended sound mod patch as well. So it's Or and Ideal EXE for making 
the fully fleshed sound mods for the game, thanks to both those players. That is important. All right, Sanctuary coming up here. Oh, but you gave your opponent Sanctuary and not too late. He's here now, cuz he can't go nowhere. <laughs> oh, uh, he really can't go nowhere, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is the safest place in the world right now. <laughs> really nice enough for not third. Gonna strap you up. Oh, the roll, it still recovers. All right, not bad, not bad, we take those. <laughs> not the position you wanted to be in, that's Cha. All right, I like the idea. Your opponent's trapped right now, so get rid of Rush while you still can in a somewhat safe position. Get the, get the full value, but you, you got it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice damage. Look how much damage Justice did, right? But imagine now you didn't have the Sanctuary panel. Oh my goodness, that's so much value, but the recover is juicy too. Really? <laughs> no, third first leg. Like, should I do it? Like, I, I, I kind of want to do 50 damage. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And runs down there and gets slashed. Ah. <laughs> I, can, I can hear your thoughts in that moment. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, now you want to run away. <laughs> Yo, this match is so funny. Now you want to get out of here, huh? Okay. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> Charles like, oh, is that Splash? Oh, no, nah, I don't want none of that smoke. Right, I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> hmm, throwing away this... Throwing away Element Man. Uh, that must have been an accident. That had to be. That was not what you wanted here. It would have been better to mesh out Fireball. Yeah, that was absolutely. Yeah, that. Oh, not third person definitely confirms it. Yeah, that was on display. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Mashing for Element Fire definitely makes sense. Yeah, we take those. Yeah, we take those. Bit Cook doing not much damage, but I'm gonna do 480. Yeah, yeah, we definitely, that's a good trade. Oh, but the slash, it's still half, it's still half. Tango! I forgot about Tango. That's so good. Nothing <laughs> first is getting pieced up by the Gregor Buster here. <laughs> Every time you try to dodge, just get shot more. <laughs> just getting lit up. That's funny. One does not simply play footsies with a Gregor Buster. You will get hit. You will take damage <laughs> Every time. The true my things ready right here, huh? No time to throw up the. If you beast out, you lose the chips. I I think it's worth the beast out still, because now you're not pressuring any damage and you're allowing Cha to just go ahead and throw out more of those beast charges. Cha might even be able to find a way to deal with the the sanctuary panels too. Wow, tried to punish. Oh, Dutch. Nice. Air shoes value here, air shoes value. Yeah, now you can go for these really, really nice and juicy beast charges. Okay, I respect it. You got it, you got it. Maybe this was the better play. I might leave with the life war beforehand just to guarantee these hits just are as impactful while taking as little damage as possible. Mm. 
Mm, that's not good enough, I'm afraid. Oh, she got you. You didn't want to do that. Nice to recover. Hold your B button. Oh, it's too late. That's it. And the panels are clearing up. So this is looking up for Cha here. It's always so awkward to not have shoes and the perma hole is just dead center in the middle of the map. Ooh, good dodge. Dodge the fire. Okay. Good movement. No more chips in the folder, though. That's scary. Although Chad did use the, the big hook already. Heat for heat? Yeah, I like this. I like this. This is the good timeline. <laughs> this is the good timeline. Yes, sir. Yeah, get up out of my area. All the flamethrower. All the flamethrower. <laughs> fire. Fire. <laughs> Oh, this is tough. One HP. Yep, that's game. Oh, excellent question by Uvu in YouTube chat asking, can Erase Tail Arrow be blocked with anti-magic NCP? Yes, it surely can. 100%. The, you can't devalue the NCP piece by a normal mechanic, right? Or else the NCP piece just would be useless. So yeah, it definitely, definitely is. Oh, this panel grab is amazing! Chuck cannot escape this positioning. Yeah, no, you're trapped, child. I'm sorry. You, you got to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, what's going to be interesting is how not third person decides to deal with this trap, right? By stepping back, you allow child the opportunity to go for a area grab, but they don't. Oh, grab revenge at the cost of being defrosted. But this is still really good. Um, not third person will have the ability to drop down another area grab. No, you don't want to smack them out. Mm. 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 No more sanctuary. Mm. No, this, this is the worst timeline. <laughs> this is not what you wanted. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's still going fine for not third person, though. I do like the idea of getting. Oh, I mean, if you're gonna do it, I can do it too, I guess. Clear up the poison panels. Very nice, very nice. Oh, good life aura. That was an excellent turn to bring a life aura. Now, all not third person can do is play D. Drop both. You might as well. Oh, that's not. Now, for players who are new to Battle Network and are joining in for the first time, this is an excellent opportunity for us to talk about Ragged Windrack for Gregar, and this is exactly the reason why we do that. Gregar doesn't have a cross or a form that allows him to immediately do with a life or unless he goes into Beast Out. But by ragging a Windrack, because wind hitboxes always blow away barriers, you do not have to waste your Beast Out form. You can just use that Windrack to deal with the life or immediately, on the next turn at least. Really solid tech. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of this turn. Grab Revenge is probably gonna be useful though. Oh nice, big hook, gonna do some decent damage here. 
Nice! Good hesitation! Base is not quite cleared yet. In order to get a guaranteed confirmed deletion from base, you have to get your opponent to at least 420, and that's without any uh, attack modifiers. I think with attack modifiers, it has to be 520, so an additional 100. That's still really good, right? It means you get the deletion earlier at 520 instead of waiting for... Oh, I guess it really doesn't know. Oh, this is really tough. Wow, on a night. Um, wow. Don't do this to me. Don't do me like this on stream, dude. Oh, man, he's right, though. So, this is another thing that's bad about base, and I, I, I forgot about this fact. Base... <laughs> Base has basically a four or five percent chance to not hit eight times and do only seven hits. So we see base in hand. We're about to count. Wow. 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 Good TFC. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, all right, we're good, we're good. You see, eight hits, eight hits, just like I said. Never wrong. Oh, Tango, so good. Yeah, it's specifically important when your opponent is playing Tango to get them to a threshold where you can get the deletion even without Tango in play. Because of moments like this. Tango's kind of tough to play around. Let me know in the chat. What game and what theme? I wonder if he's gonna get it first. All right, Ray Mu on this job, man. And YouTube chat, he is with the B in one virus theme. We will immediately. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Well done. <laughs> Sorry, Rocking. You're, you're a little too slow. Excellent choice here, going for this instead. Oh, well, you have Element Man SP too. Interesting, Cha going for the breaking of panels in the back. Oh, didn't want to give the opponent grass, of course, but could have gone for like fire or something. Oh, no! No way! Are you kidding me, Cha? Yo, what a punish, yo! What a punish! Wow. Yo, get him! Looks like I came in just in time, too. That was perfect timing because that Elect Beast was just about to paralyze. In fact, how much HP were they at? Like five, 550 or something oh, okay, like so that. Okay, so they would have been safe from deletion, but yeah, that, that's really, really good timing. In fact, if that was wow. time wrong, they could have lost the Sun Moon. Oh no, the like oh you're talking about I'm sorry, yeah. They literally had 200 HP. It would have definitely been game yeah, for Yeah, that was game. Uh, that was a hundred percent game. Wow. Was a beater if I ever seen one, for sure. Ouch. Wow. Oh yo, thank you for the replay. Yeah. I'll take that. Yes, sir. Nice and you did it perfectly on timing too. Oh, yo, hold on, okay. Okay, I see you out here, Salad. <laughs> That's called skill. Yeah, mad skill, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it, that was a game-ending shot for not third person, but Cha just taking the cookies, man. He was not trying to share ever, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Well done. Very, very tough match. All right. 
excellent game, but the show must go on, of course. And up next, we have Packfire versus Alpha. Okay, let's go into setups. All right, so this is actually two new players for today's stream, rather. Not new players in general. But we do have very, very similar. No, I'm wrong. The same cuts. <laughs> no, okay, no, it is similar. It is similar. One player has 100 more HP. And that's only because Packfire decided to add speed max to their build so they can get a higher amount of... Oh, no, they still have the same Buster Bug level. But having the speed is a little bit more impactful when you're trying to fish for Buster Procs because that means you're dropping your gun and shooting a little bit faster. So... Wait a minute. Oh, no, Alpha has cussed eight. My mind is playing tricks because <laughs> one player has 300 HP in white. And the other player has Cus 2 in white. Yeah, what a mix. <laughs> so yeah, Cus 8 for Alpha here is actually really good too. Because now you have a large majority of chips at your disposal. Could even find the Giga you're looking for a little bit earlier as well. That tends to happen when you have Cus 8 and you choose five chips in the first round. Not often though, but it can. Packfire is running what appears to be a mostly, it looks mostly like a toolbox kind of folder here because we have some decent splashes from Q in the form of Gundel Soul Q, Grab Revenge Q, Bubble Wrap Q, and then you have the, the Recover 300s on Code with Judgment SP. But everything else in here is support or something to help deal with the current situation you're in, right? This is a defensively orientated folder. Although it is playing down on anti-damage and invisible. You're not gonna see a lot of damage coming from Packfire's folder in this round, more so the utility that it brings. You're gonna see all the damage coming from charge shots or buster procs. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how Packfire plays this because at Gregor's core, it mostly wants to be pushing out damage from charge shots. So it should be a very, very safe game plan for Packfire. Meanwhile, Alpha is rocking the S code folder heavily for Gregor, which is really awesome because we do see the two Aqua Dragons in here. This is something I alluded to in a former stream where the ice panels actually kind of help Gregor significantly when you're trying to do slash locks, of course. So because of that, we do see the three area grabs to encode banish. Would have liked to see another area grab or at least some panel grabs here especially over sandworm but i'm not sure what the idea of sandworm or spreader one star is here so i we might be in for a show here all right let's get into the match oh i love this game so much dude i love this game so much starting us off Right, with the battle pressure, man. You love to see it. And the pressure is indeed on. There's a lot of HP on both sides, but it melts like ice. <laughs> Let me tell you, like ice on top of a stove. <laughs> All right. So it looks like Packfire decided to go, obviously, with a much more defensive start. Not a great start for him at all at this point, because Bubble Wrap will take times two damage from a charge shot. So you're not going to see Packfire go for it immediately until the flashing is up. Now we might see the bug fix come down, but it's going to be up to Packfire to move around these charge shots. Oh, nicely done. And now it will be saved into the next turn. Oh, wow, that was a really good sequence for Packfire, just avoiding all the damage from the charge shots and just denying the popping of that bubble star. Very important. But your opponent has access to this cross still. So you're going to have to try and find a way to get rid of this cross to keep your bubble star and maintain momentum. Well, that's much easier said than done, especially with Alpha's build having two Aqua Dragons in the folder, especially with Elect Cross being in play right now. It's a very, very scary position for Packfire to be in. Honestly, I think it's rather bold 
to be going for a charge cross so early when you know your opponent does have access to those two copies of awkward chips that are really strong in this folder but it looks like backfire is opting for the slow gaze turn okay not bad not bad okay that's the decent amount of damage coming up from slash man and there's the bubble Oh, the bubble's now gone. Okay, the light charge shot didn't make its mark here. Element Man has the TFC for it. Well done, well done. Wow, that was scary. Nice. I like the idea. Don't get rid of the conveyor belts. Can be a little scary. But you don't also want to give your opponent the ability to do times two damage. Panel turn is interesting here because it will give you free reign of movement, but that's not something you really want to go for. You want to go for that panel turn on the turn that you have Colonel Force, right? That way you can fix all the panels, make sure all your soldiers show up so you can get the rapid fire from that and deal as much possible damage, or rather as much damage as possible. Oh, this is going to be a very scary turn for Alpha. Flash bomb doesn't matter. I have life aura. Little boiler doesn't matter. I have a life aura. Spreader doesn't matter. I have a life aura. Aku dragon doesn't matter. Anything that oh, you had everything. Dude. <laughs> okay, this is unfortunate. Now we also know that isn't anti damage too. So you just cannot deny any of this damage from Slash Cross. Man, it's been so long since we've seen a Slash Cross turn this devastating. Don't for the Buster Prox, I love it. It's unoptimal to go for charges, but I want you to not only end the turn without flashing, but I can still get some damage from these Buster Shots and maintain my momentum. This is so good. Really, really good turn for Packfire just now. But hey, the game is not over. Packfire is choosing to stay in Slash Cross, which means there could be a setup for Alpha to try and land a really big, big hook turn. There goes the bug fix. The D-Cross happens. Wave Arm's coming through. That definitely means... Okay, nice. Anti-recovery coming in too. Well, look at the swing. All right, this is looking pretty good. Nah, this is too much. This is too much mistiming here. It's gonna be the end. Oh man. Slow Gauge really just did everything Packfire needed. This is something I haven't seen in a long time. It, it's been a while since Gregor players have decided to just run Slow Gauge and go for Slash Cross like this. I, I think people forget how devastating that cross can be in a Slow Gauge turn with minus area for your opponent like that is just disgusting disgusting and that life or a two well positioned to completely swing it in favor for pack fire early bug fix is always nice to have this does mean buster bug is immediately online for alpha here gonna trade up on area grabs nothing's gonna happen with the loose area but again Packfire with the bubble wrap in hand gets the cross by this dragon the sandwich combo into a machine gun okay that was pretty spicy <laughs> but not much damage came out of it like spread a three star not the craziest amount of damage machine gun one star also not the craziest amount of damage but it does look cool we'll take that <laughs> The sandworm combo is pretty spicy though. They could have charged it to make it have paralysis, but I don't know if they had the time to do it. Well, no, that's not true. I think they did do it, right? Because the opponent was frozen, so they chip charged it with the uh, elect. Yeah, they definitely did. Very nice. Battle turn coming out early here. It's going to be interesting. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Alpha doesn't have any... Alpha doesn't have any chip that break. Nice, well positioned. Throwing away Erasement into Anti Navi. We'll deal with that problem right now and not have. Oh, the counter hit, fire it! Oh, that's spicy! 
deceptively just getting decked in the mouth is not fun. <laughs> Imagine if you were in Baseman, though. That would have been a really nice spicy counter hit into whatever you wanted in the next turn. Okay, going for the beast out. I do like this. Oh, Crossman 600 in Twitch to ask. Ice panel doesn't cause times to damage. Yes. No, electives do not cause time to damage on ice panels in this game. That's an older mechanic. Okay. Little boiler with the... Okay. Interesting, interesting. Didn't get the combo off, unfortunately. The neutral area was just not what Alpha needed in that situation, but does have the element man to clear out the sanctuary, which is going to be very good. Backfire bluffing hard that he has a beast charge that literally has nothing. Oh, good dodge from Alpha here. I'm not sure if they knew that the Windrack was coming, but that was a really good dodge just now. <laughs> just instinctively Ultra Instincts, yo. Uh, this hand is a little awkward here. You have the Q code tips a little too early, but Element Man SP does a lot of damage. Even if you get the fire on top of the grass, you're still getting hit for times two. You can even try to go for the Element Wood to get a decross, which will still hit for times two. So I definitely think this is a safe option. Maybe bluff to your opponent that, hey, I'm trying to chip charge right now, gonna drop a beast charge and maybe just trying to mix it up in that way, force out a defensive option from Alpha and then just punish. Okay, no, it doesn't seem like that's what they want to do. TF scene to this, nice. That's a curse number. All right, it got rid of her immediately, we'll take that. Nice, okay, Alpha trying to channel the inner slash right now. Going for these hard shots here. Oh, the All right, all right, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, I'm a fan, I like this. I like this, this is good gameplay. One HP in a dream. One, oh, the recover three up. Literally, every game on stream today, every game on stream today was under shirt value. One square, one square in your Navi cuss. The hand isn't great though. I, I definitely feel like the HP is more valuable, but if you can camp these defenses to the rest of the game, double life or okay, do you throw away a barrier 200? Blast man whiffing is huge. Oh, that's not what you wanted to do. Windrack. Okay. This is so tough. One HP. No, no way. Is too much HP really going to do it? Wow, wow, the turn is ending. He survived, let's go, <laughs> Yo, let's go. The barrier two hands in a wood stands. No way, you did not deserve that. That is crazy, Pathfire, no way. He's built, he's going all in. Wow, 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 so gatekeeping. That was dodges. He deserved that, come on. He deserved that, that's true, that's true. That's true, oh my gosh. But in that situation, it, it was supposed to be impossible. But the odds, again, undershirt value, just undershirt value. You should play this, this Navi Cuss piece every time. A hundred percent of the time, every time. Like, just play it, just, just do it. Always bring a shirt. This is it. This is literally the dream. This is literally the comeback. He's not even. I'm perplexed. I'm perplexed. If, if this really goes off right now, the Invis too. Oh right, it doesn't use the piercing chips. So grab revenge will whiff here. But it's a slow gauge turn. We got all day. We got all day, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Excellent game. Wow, that was really tough for Alpha. That was really tough. GG's. Alpha played well, though. Alpha played well. I do think, unfortunately, that like things like Spreader are just so low value. You know, they just don't do enough for the slots you're giving them to. Man, wow, what a close game. What a close game. That's what we love to see.
But up next, we have our final set of the day. Uvu versus Ricochet. I love to see so much Uvu on stream, by the way, because I think they just came back. Honor Knight knows yes. which ones to get. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Why, why do you say... Oh, no bias. No bias on stream, no. what we're picking what? out here. Yeah. What? We never have bias, Alvin. Never. When have you ever... Okay. As a fan, if, you, if you've been here for a while, when have you ever experienced bias on stream? Like, be honest. Never, right? Like, come on. Anyways, I hope Player Zero loses in the next Blood Moon. Me, me too, but no bias. But absolutely no bias. Absolutely no bias. But, um, yeah, let's look at these builds. We did see Uvu play earlier today, as we've already mentioned. Really solid folder. Trying to get the hot coffee pot combo for the stream. It is quite a devastating combo when it is successful. But, hey, you know, anything can happen. But... Over on our right side, we do have Ricochet running a really spicy setup that is, in fact, B on the bottom left corner of the Navi Cust that is not decompressed. It is actually the actual size of B used specifically in this way so it can still connect to the center line, the command line, in order to get the value out of the NCP. This is a really interesting cuss. I really like it when people innovate in this kind of way, just to make sure they can get all the pieces they want. And because it's been placed like this, we're able to get Tango in there and look an HP plus 300 as well. So you're pretty, pretty chonky. And okay, man, this is a pretty safe cuss. There's a obviously a bug stop in here so you're not going to experience any of the downsides of having all these bug custom parts or the super armor parts and yeah this is going to be a really spicy setup now ricochet is playing a very interesting folder in the form of a code now a code has a lot of heavy hitters but I only see one Elect Pulse 2, which is something I'm not too fond of, because Elect Pulse 2 just has so much combo potential when you play alongside things like Wind Racks, especially for decross, um, not decrossing, for removing flashing from your opponent. I mean, it does decross a spot cross or aqua cross, but we're really looking at it for the potential of getting rid of your opponent's invincibility frames, right? But what is in this folder that's pretty spicy is that beautiful Master Cross Program Advance, which consists of Elect Pulse 3, Risky Honey 3, Fire Hit 3, and Aqua Needle 3. So it combines all the elements to create an awesome looking Master Cross PA. And when that's what we're hoping to see today. That aside, I hope base wins. I'm not going to specify which one. All right, let's roll with a clip. All right, you know, Rolling Log F is such an interesting ship. I I, I don't like this ship. <laughs> like, I, I gotta say, I, I really don't. It's actually really cool if you can chip charge it to do double damage on both the hits. But I, I just don't like that you can use a Buster Shot to just stall it or outright delete it. I know? mean, because it has a hitbox, it can get rid of BDTs. That's that's true. That is true. I wonder how it interacts with bees. Like, uh, I wonder if bees will multi-hit it or if they'll stop the entire volley like an object. I don't think that's ever been tested before. That is not something I've actually seen. Using Rolling Log as a defensive tool is pretty interesting. It can't block everything, but it does block the things that count. Are you just going to do it? Oh, you're not, right? Okay, all right. <laughs> you're just doing it. All right, I love it. <laughs> if you don't start off the match right, how are you supposed to win? You know what I'm saying? Look at that, Charlie. Coming through to break the center panel. It was all... Wow. Um, all right, Ricochet, you got it. My bad. I didn't know it was like that. I didn't know he was going to have turn one Sanctuary and just completely devalue Uvu's entire turn one. <laughs> I didn't know that's what you wanted to do. Like, you could have started, you know? <laughs> could let me know. Oh, wow. 
YouTube chat said, I'm sure it will remember you said that next time you go against it, saying the bad things about, um, <laughs> I said about Rolling Luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, that's probably fair. Maybe I do get clapped up by Rolling Lugs. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Um, in Twitch chat, I am Urk is asking, is double Elect Pulse 3 not allowed? No, it's very much allowed. Elect Pulse 3 is actually the worst of the three pulses because it causes flashing. It pierces flashing, but it also reapplies flashing. So it's not necessarily great for combos. Man, Elect Pulse jump scares are. Oh, what? We just did it! Wow. I think the damage was reduced though. That wasn't max damage, right? I think max damage happens when you're in the center, which is why we saw Ricochet go for the Elect Pulse, hoping to pull Uvu out of the, the row where Sanctuary is to get the maximum hits. That would have been really spicy. Man, Master Cross Hive, let's go! Uvu's hand... Slowly assembling the pieces of Exodia here. <laughs> Alright, I like the trap. Oh, good trade for Ricochet. They're gonna take half damage and paralysis, but they get a D-cross out of it. Very nice. Barrier 200, really nice positioning too on top of the Sanctuary panel. That's basically 400 HP on this barrier. Oh, the pieces have been gathered. Go Tengu. Just go Tengu. There it is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's down two. No, you press up, then go down two. One more. One more. One more. Uvu. Uvu. Uvu, go down one more to Tengu. Thank you. All right, then he'll play. Thank you. Oh my god. Why do you... Don't play with me like that, Uvu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what we were doing, and we were on the same page. So. <laughs> All right, we can immediately be left here. Deals with that barrier immediately, as you saw, it was eviscerated off of the screen. And now we can set up our own aura and deny the area grab. Nice, nice. This is a precarious positioning though. Those holes are painful for this hand right now. And although we have all the pieces, it's a little clunky right now because you can't use any of those chips until either those holes come back or we have a way to land the damage from the position that we're in currently. At least Uvu can go for the, the Neo Variable Sword here for damage this turn. Oh, wow. Ricochet using the charge shot to dodge the Neo variable. Should have stepped back for that one. And a barrier 100 on top of it. Gotta find a way to get rid of that. Oh, wait, I have Tengu. And a really good Mega Chip to, to combo with it. I really hope, Ricochet, you decide to change crosses because uh, this is going to be a bad time. Oh, well, I guess you have the Sanctuary panel, so you're not too pressed. Oh. Okay, all right, nice, nice. Oh. That was a bad TFC, unfortunate. Oh, oh, no TFC. Why no TFC here? No, I don't like this. Unfortunate. That was not what Uvu wanted. That TFC would have been really good just now. Do you just do it? Is that is that what you think right now? I understand the thought process, but just hitting okay. Oh yeah, yeah. We have we have Aquaman SP. We gotta get our value, right? Alright, that makes sense. Oh, I see. Okay. They were still flashing, so that's why you didn't go for the TFC. All right, that makes sense. Sometimes I forget because you don't see it when during cutscenes. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. Wow. 
<laughs> That's funny. I just did that. <laughs> oh, it, it was worse for you. No, worse for me, I guess. I have 100. Oh, this is getting really dicey. Okay, we have the recovery here. We could... We could use... Okay, how many how many of these do we have? We have two voodoo dolls. Okay, oh, unfortunate. That's not that's not great. Oh, I I understand the hesitation. I really do. This recover will bring you to four hundred. I think maybe. Yeah, changing crosses might have to happen in case your opponent goes for slash cross. Okay, they didn't go for it, but at least you can try to deny damage here with your charge shot. Okay. They, no, that's GG. All right, you got it. Game two, game two, game two. That's fine. Acceptable game state. All right. New game, new game, new game. Redo, redo, redo. All right. This isn't too bad. Oh, hey. Okay. We drew the grass panel changing chip early. So with this grass seed, we could make our base turn really strong. Wait a minute. Hold on. My man is playing grass seed in F code. How did I not notice that before? For why? It comes in star. That's a flex. That is the biggest flex I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I, I just noticed this. For why are you doing this? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, no, no baby here. Unfortunately. Spelling man gonna go ahead and just whiff. Turn to tank cannon, okay. <laughs> and speaking of baby, here comes baby right now. <laughs> nice, you're gonna get this hit too. Oh, wow, he stepped forward. Wow, he got that too. All right, Ricochet, you're, you're a little godlike right now. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> That was a lot of fortunate events for you just now. <laughs> oh, that's some Uvu lore. So Uvu apparently made this save file way back in 2020. <laughs> it never changed its sense. <laughs> My man is running the unoptimized, bro. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You say, oh, this still works, right? All right, good. <laughs> Oh, you love to see it, though. That's funny. Wow. When Barry 100 just invalidates. Oh, wow. When the race man just invalidates. Well, and, and then you're just going to shoot me, man. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, so he did make changes. Oh, you made changes for Neo Variable and Recover 300. <laughs> just kept it that way. All right, cool, cool. We'll take those. Double recover here. Okay. Back to near full. Only a hundred off. Not bad. Not bad. Now, what's awkward is that we don't want to use the C because our opponent has Charge Cross. Charge Cross is Charge Tackle, Charge Shot. Dang, I don't even want to try to say that 10 times faster. That. <laughs> but anyway, the Charge Shot is Fire Elemental. So it will burn away the grass that you fight so hard to make. So what Uvu really wants to do right now is go tank you, as they did, and try to get rid of this <laughs> this barrier with the B left here. All right, nice. It is gone. The log. It, it connected. <laughs> Give me that order. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, all oh, the mess across. Nice. 
but still not the max amount of damage that you want here. Oh, this is a really, really good life for can run up ahead, camp that panel. Yeah, this charge shot's not going to land at all, but we're really here just to bolster our defense. Okay. Okay, now we got a little something happening. Judgment can at least pierce the invisible state and allow us to... Okay, we can place down this brass seed, then go for Judgment. It is a fast gauge turn. Go into our next hand. This can this can work. The dream is there. This this can this can do it. We we can actually we have the technology. All right. No, this is actually better. This is actually better because we couldn't throw that in the middle before. All right. All right. Nice. Oh, this is this is tough. Wait, what? What just happened? What? What, what just happened? Uh. Uh. Okay, so we kept judgment. We got value out of it. We got our panels back. That's good. That's good. That's a good thing. Okay, Spellman, this is actually better because they're not going to have time for a charge tackle. They're going to think they're safe. But what do you go for here now? Wow, this hand's kind of awkward. Do you go for the 500 damage? That's the safe play. Oh, this is this is a really really tough turn. Okay, so the safe play is going for blast man, or we can go for the D cross. Oh, oh, and he hit it too. Okay, Ricochet is not respecting these grass panels. Neither is Uvu. These players are not respecting these gra- All right, I was about to say. <laughs> oh yeah, stream chat and George D. Guzman, or wow, I said George again, Jorge D. Guzman. He says, going in with one ship on the fast gauge turn is actually not as bad as it seems. That is very true. That is very true. This is a really awkward hand. I like the machine gun, though. We lost our value. I'm just going for it. Wow. Yeah, I, I was a little shook. I ain't gonna lie to you. 159 HP, though. Do you think that's enough time? Wait a minute. What if he, like, counter hits on their one? Now we need a way to deal with this barrier. Element Man is a nice way to do it. Is this really it? We're just going for it? Right now? Okay, this is it. Let's see what we get from this. All right. Okay, there it is. He's on the grass. Oh, it doesn't matter though. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. Your opponent's 
flashing. They can they can cross chains. Okay, they can cross chains. So so you go for the race man. They can't move only but forward and back. So race man's confirmed. But what do you get out of it, right? Okay. Okay, we go for the chip charge. No, I like this. I can see the vision. We're here. We're cooking. We're cooking. All right, oh, oh, whatever you choose, big dog. I'm here for the ride, man. I'm just here. <laughs> like, what, what are we doing? We could go for the D-Cross for times two, then go for your race, man. Then go for Blast, man. Yeah? Yeah, that, that, that sounds kind of hot. I didn't do it on purpose. I did not do it on purpose, I promise. I'm not player zero. I'm light like him. Okay, okay, here we go. The race man is found. We have the chip charge technology. Oh, he's flashing though. Oh, Tango. Can we get rid of the... Go for the invisible, that's safe, that's safe. Blast man away. Wow, 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 wow. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, keep it away, keep it away, keep it away. I like that, I like that. Machine gun into rolling log that doesn't flash into Magnum for game? Uh, maybe. That sounds that sounds right. Oh no, it won't be game. There's holes there, man. The logs will just fall in the hole. Oh, this is really tough. Goes the heat cross. They wanted the beam move. Okay, I like that. They probably counted the area grabs and decided that I want something with a little bit more range to get trapped in the center. All right, the flashing is there, but you're safe. Wow. Beast over? Is that is that your decision? Oh, he locked that in. Does, does Ricochet have it out for that though? I I don't think so. They pulls the beast over. All right, All right. Game game fifteen. <laughs> Turn fifteen. Turn fifteen. I I think Uvu's about to get. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! The feathers. The feathers. Oh my wamo. He made. Good job, Ubu. <laughs> we secured the game, bro. <laughs> no shirt, no life. It's true. If you don't got no shirt, you won't got no service. That's true. Wow. Evercurse is correct. No shirt, no life. Couldn't even run with the drainage. You know, anything could have happened. No more volcano panels. Yes, tied up on top. Very well. Good, 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 good. Early wind rack. Nice. It's ironic because most other players tend to play only one wind rack, so finding it this early is really good for Uvu in this position. We can just go for the wind rack, deal with the life aura, and yeah, and you can got the cakewalk from there. Life aura your own. That's pretty good to me too. I think I would save the erase man. Or not. Oxor not gonna do much. Oh, he was trying to punish Tengu. Reading a, a change to Tengu. Okay, B is gone now too. Nice. Fast gauge in play. It's gonna start speeding things up once again. This might be favorable for Uvu though. Who wants to aggressively defend this life aura and aggressively defend this dust cross right now? I would just take the the rolling logs. I'm I'm throwing logs at you. I'm sorry, homie. You're gonna have to take this, bro. We're gonna eat some wood for dinner tonight. That's that. Yep. Good choice. Good choice. 
Wood back. Goes into the 50. Ooh, taking a little bit of damage, but that's okay, though. Excellent placement. Excellent response. Excellent response times two. Uvu really wants to decross here. You know, you could send the whole combo back. Are, are you? Nah, okay. Well, we have element, right? So we can deal with the sanctuary panels in that way. Uh-oh. Good trap, good trap. He just ate it. All right, sure. Oh, that's not going to work. Ooh, probably should have waited to get rid of that barrier. But trapping is also nice here. Glassman, not going to get the value that you want because the grass panels are on the opposite side, but it still does a nice chunk of damage. Maybe when the uh, when the panels clear up, your opponent might try to retreat to that bottom row. Okay. This is still really good for Uvu because we're forcing out all these defenses early, right? So the darkness has a much easier time landing when your opponent just doesn't have the resources to deal with it. However, that pesky holy panel is really well positioned for Ricochet right now, especially since they're only limited to those rolls. So there's little investment for moving off of it really, right? Oh no, they were flashing. Oh no, just forgot that they were flashing. It's a huge loss of damage just now. All right, moved up. Element, oh, that buffered. And he got rid of his own life. Oh, what is going on? He got rid of his own barrier. Oh, yo, okay, so Uvu was flashing. It wasn't that he buffered any damage. That's fine, too. <laughs> yeah, that was a little impatient, Ricochet. Unfortunate, though. Yes, holy panel, holy panel. Double machine gun is really good here. Just in case Ricochet tries to drop a couple of traps down. Maybe dropping down to that row, going for some buster shots might be valuable. All right, nice. We have the whole combo in hand. That was the pieces and components of the program advance, which means we're not going to see Master Cross this last turn. Okay, that was something I was very worried about, but not seeing Master Cross. Oh, that's pretty huge. That must mean Ricochet had a really, really awkward hand just now. It had no choice but to get rid of the components for the Master Cross program in advance. This is one of the reasons why um, Master Cross tends to be not the greatest program advance. It's hype as heck, but... Okay, recover 300. We'll go ahead and go plus 100 on that trade. Nice, good charge shot. Base. With the boost, it's gonna do oh, a large portion of damage. Oh man, look at that. Is it time though? Is this, is this the moment? It seems like it. Okay, this could be huge. If Ricochet finds themselves on a grass panel, that will really be the tipping point. Oh, dang, I should have said boiling point. That was really smart, James. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is it. There goes the boiler. Double point, you gave me the room to do this. Oh, no, it's a risky honey! Wait, okay, it did damage through the risky honey. 
It does block though. What happens next? Whoa. Always bring a shirt. <laughs> he was eviscerated by the coffee pot. <laughs> Yo. What a string of words. I just came back. Uh, yeah. Well, I actually have been here for a bit, but. Yo, but yo, the risky honey blocking was pretty hype, but the fire from the program advance just does damage through the risky honey because it can't block fire damage. But it's so cool that it still remains up even after taking the fire damage to block the sword. What, what a spicy interaction that was. That was beautiful. But at the end of the day, it always goes back to what I always say, man. No shirt, no shoes, no service, man. I can't serve you. You can't walk into my store without a shirt and shoes, man. Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I, I can't help you, bro. Go get your shoes. Go get your shirt. GG's to both players. That was an excellent, excellent way to finish out the, this entire beautiful stream, man. That, that was great. Really great. And now, peace. <laughs> Tranquility. <laughs> oh my god, ever curse the chat. I think that's Eyes of Heaven. Is it actually? <laughs> I, am I getting confused? I think Sign Square Wave is into Taz. Is ever curse Eyes of Heaven? Oh, I, I, actually, I actually don't know. Okay, okay. Yeah, they are. Okay. I'm sorry for calling everyone out in chat. <laughs> Let me know if you don't want me to do that, but yeah. Those were some great games today. Oh man. Ah, this is why I love this game so much. Yep. It's always hype. Thank you everyone for playing this week. Thank you to submitting your VODs and thank you so much, Honor Knight, for watching over them and lovingly picking out which ones to use and in what order. Uh, these weekly streams definitely would not be possible without everyone's work and especially honor nights here in the VODs. And with that, I want to go into the rest of the credits. Thank you, Soul, for our solo casting. Thank you, China TV, <laughs> Pathfire, and Honor Night for just doing the scores. And thank you to everyone that joined and also everyone that watched the stream today. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I did say... Um, in case you missed it, Solex Cross has a GoFundMe set up because he got into an incident. And luckily, he's nice and intact, but his car is not. So, um, let me just drop it into both the YouTube and Twitch chat if you'd like to help out a little bit. Uh, feel free to say anything else if you want about that, Sol. It was, it was just a really unfortunate accident overall you know i was on my way to new york and uh for a family emergency but it was pouring rain outside and i ended up hydroplaning going at 55 which is probably my bad but wait but you, know, you said it turns out it might not be hydroplaning right because you said it looks like there was that's a steering what I wheel feel like, but i have no way of proving it right that's the biggest problem because don't you have a dash cam? Uh -huh. we do have the dash cam right but the dash cam shows from my, like, out of the window. Uh, it doesn't, so it doesn't show, like, show the, the steering car. wheel. Right. So what I really think happened is that the car's axle kind of disconnected from the car. Because my wife yes. was telling me earlier that the car was, like, acting funny when she was driving it. And it was the same day. She told oh, me it was, she God. didn't feel like the car was okay. And there was yeah. something wrong with the car. But I needed to go to New York. And the car was working fine the day, a couple of days before. So I, I drove. You know, How long it does it take like, for you to get to New York? It's, well, the time I left, it was like 10 o'clock. So it's about four hours. Oh my God. That's a scary amount of driving if the car is not okay. I'm really, really, really glad that um, you're nice and intact and we didn't have any eggs cracked here. Yeah. 
I'm very, very fortunate. I'm also very fortunate my son and my wife weren't in the car too, because I, I would not have felt great about that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that, it, that's that freaking scary. scary. But um, yeah, unfortunately, the car is totaled, like you wrote in the GoFundMe. So um, instead of donating to the M1GB, because Seoul is not comfortable with us using the M1GB donations to help him out, please try to help him out if you can. I would be very, very gracious if you do. And if you don't, that's fine too. I'm not asking for everyone to pitch in. But if you have it and you don't mind, I appreciate you. And it doesn't matter how much. Even if it was a dollar, that's perfect for me. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. We need to get you like a helmet, like the, the base fins as a helmet. And we just need you to like wear it on stream. I definitely would. Like, <laughs> like uh, I'll put my camera on and put it on. I, I have no problems with that. You should show everyone your base uh, mouse cursor. That thing is so sick. I, I tuned into the voice chat to see Eurasia geeking out about it last time. That was really funny. <laughs> I mean, he's basically <laughs> saying exactly what I like. That was my reaction to it. It is good. <laughs> it is nice. Okay, uh, with that, everyone, thank you so much. And remember, the sign up for Blood Moon, which is starting tomorrow, is still up. So if you want to sign up for Blood Moon, which is standard format, please sign up today. The link is in the tournament header. And uh, if you have not watched the video on how our new moons work, please watch that in tutorial for an explanation. And even if you did or didn't, remember that Blood Moon, the round robin stage is played over two weeks. And for Blood Moon specifically, we ask that you try to play out as many sets as you can or if players ask you to play because that affects standings for top cut. So for regular cycles, you don't have to worry about it. In fact, last week I signed up and literally played nothing. Shame on me, but um, <laughs> yes, for Blood Moon, please, please uh, try to uh, accommodate your time for it if you wish to sign up or tell, uh, let me know if you have to drop. And yes, also for Blood Moon, we are asking um, you to please be mindful of your connection as well for a competitive integrity. So please try to make sure you're on a wired connection or on a stable connection to reduce the, the amount of rollback. And sadly, it looks like Uhu was not able to join this Blood Moon. That is sad. But um, yeah, I look forward to everyone, uh, what everyone is going to be bringing tomorrow when we put up the setups. So uh, yes, thank you. Once again, thank you so much for being here, everyone, both in the community, watching, uh, doing whatever it is you do. I, I wouldn't know what you do. This is well, like I... the worst speech <laughs> I've ever given. <laughs> No, actually, this is like, this is probably like top four. I've had worse ones than this. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Alright, anything else you want to say, Soul, before I end the stream? Nope. Uh, actually, it was great being here. I'm glad everyone was here, and I had a ton of fun. Yes, you were incredible, by the way. Thank you so much for solo casting. I had to step away for most of it. Okay, thank you for the kind words, everybody. And with that, bye.